it to the no going and you tell me do things I done running. Fortress Maximus. Fortress Maximus! The colossal Headmaster Autobot City. Look! The Terracons are attacking! Transform Fortress Maximus! Headmaster Transformers! From city to battle station! Form a swarm Terracons form a bomb! Fortress but Fortress Maximus transforms again, this time into a robot so humongous a separate robot becomes its head. Its power is awesome! Transformers! From Hasbro. Look! The Stantacons! Look! The Aerialbots! Only the Stantacons! Only the Aerialbots have this kind of teamwork. Stantacons attack! Aerialbots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Stantacons! The Stantacons are all for the Transformers! Nobody can stop Minotaur! That's Superion! The Transformers, sold separately from Hasbro. Are we getting close? Affirmative. You and Power Glide are heading directly toward the strange energy waves Teletran 1 detected. Your report will be of extreme importance. I'll do my best, Optimus Prime. Bumblebee out. Wow. I didn't know the big guy thought that much of me. Hey, you must be hot stuff, pal, or you wouldn't be sharing the sky with old Power Glide. Where you going? Joyriding, little bee buddy. I'm in a cloud climbing move. Watch me! Pull out! You're gonna hit the energy waves! They don't bother me! I got too much pizzazz for them! <laughs> well, they're giving me dizzy diodes! Nothing to it when you got the zap! <laughs> My jetpack wasn't built for stunt flying! Hey! There's not supposed to be an island down there! Great! Old Power Glide loves mystery! What's that? Looks kind of like that Dinobot swoop. Oh, no! <laughs> Hang in there, Bumblebee. Prepare for a daring rescue maneuver. Can't he just save a guy without doing a commercial? Let's see how big, mean, and gruesome likes the old power glide pow. Whoa! See you downstairs as soon as I lay a little sizzle on our flying friend. Come on, Jetpack. You can do it.
You okay, little bug buddy? Yeah, except for a ding in the caboose. Hey, you keep to the sky, Power Glide. I better stick to the road. Oh, my jetpack shot. Not with old Doc Power Glide on the case. Give it here. Wow, what a wild looking area. Yeah, I never saw a place like this before. Well, I have, in pictures, when the Dinobots were being constructed. This is just how the planet Earth looked during the dinosaur age, about a hundred million years ago. That flying troublemaker was a pteranodon, the model for swoop, and yeah! Vixen can wait. Flying can hop on and hang on to your transistor! Amazing. And all we went to investigate was some weird energy waves. Wow. Live dinosaurs. I'd sure like to visit that island. <laughs> we have enough headaches with dino butts. The last thing we need is dinosaurs. Listen, the Dinobots have a lot of good qualities. I'll admit they're kind of clumsy, but lately I've been teaching them to use their powers with a little more finesse. Beryllium baloney, Wheeljack. Once a dino clutch, always a dino clutch. But go ahead with your demonstration. It'll only prove my point. <clears throat> I think you're going to eat those words on a silicon wafer. Let's show them. Grimlock! Transform! Yes, me, Grimlock, transform! Good! Now, uh, help me out, Blaster. Transform and play something uh, nice. And now, a nice and nifty musical selection for easy listening. <laughs> Hold on to your dancing shoes and go, man, go! All right, Grimlock, demonstrate your fine-tuned laser breath. Get down and truly hop to town, yeah! Cut that rocket! You're fusing my audio sensor! What that is, Sludge? Uh, Sludge not know. Maybe time to do our thing. He actually civilized the Dinobot. Sort of. Your verdict, Optimus? Very impressive, Wheeljack. But what about the other Dinobots? Slag! Sludge! Be careful! Too late! Whoa! That hot foot could melt your shoes! Slag! Sludge! Go away! Me, Grimlock, demonstrating finesse! Whatever that means. Duck or it's Barbecue City! Want to see what commotion is, Whoop? Yes, no, uh, me want! I told you it wouldn't work, Wheeljack, and it's gonna get worse! Look out! The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. We gotta stop them before they total everything! Teletran 1! Uh -uh. The Dinobot Demolition Derby is now closed! <laughs> Are you ready, Inferno? Ready, ready, red alert. I'm always ready for action. Gangway, don't interfere! Time for repairs, I guess. I'll help, Ratchet. Hey, we were trying to fix that. Clumsy oofs. Come on, we'll fight him to a standstill. No, that won't be necessary, Sideswipe. Grimlock will bring the other Dinobots under control. Grimlock, stop stumbling around and end this chaos. Transform! 
Yes, me, Grimlock, stop stumbling. Dinobots, transform and end chaos. Me, Grimlock, command you. Dinobots not want to make mess, Optimus Prime. I know, Grimlock. It's just that you Dinobots are too big to train here. You need more room for... Optimus Prime, what about that prehistoric island Power Glide and I found? Good suggestion, Bumblebee. Let's give it a try. Fantastic. Real, live dinosaurs. Remember, you will remain on the island until you have truly mastered your powers. Me, Grimlock, understand. More room to stomp. Oh, more room good for a big sludge. Oh, say, whoopee! Go! You'll all be back soon. I'd bet on it. Good luck, fellas. Ready to lead the way, Power Clyde? Hey, yo, Power Clyde loves guiding tourists. Climb aboard, Spike. <laughs> Today you're flying first class. Hope you have more fun on that island than I did, Spike. Good luck, all of you. It's a jet. It's a rocket. No, it's Power Glide. Dinobots follow Power Glide. Soundwave to Megatron. Did you copy? Affirmative, Soundwave. At least some Decepticons do not disappoint me. Shall I return to base? Not yet. This mysterious island intrigues me. Dispatch Laserbeat to investigate. As you command, Megatron. Almost there, Spike. Now let's pull out the stops and try a little aerial terpsichore. A little what? Hey! Oh no! That was really unbelievable. Hey, it was, wasn't it? Uh oh, fun's over. There's work to do. Spike, fasten your safety belt and return your seat to the fully upright position. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I'll call it Dinobot Island. Me, Grimlock, love Dinobot Island. Room to move, room to fight, room to stumble. Feel like home to me, Grimlock. But don't know why. How about this place, Spike? Talk about nutsy scenery, huh? It's like an encyclopedia come to life. A lost world where time stands still. It's perfect for the Dinobots. And this island is loaded with energy sources. Active volcanoes, oil pools, steaming geysers. Dinobot Island's got everything. <laughs> Good thing those Decepticucus don't know about it. Ah, oh, sludge-like. Snarl-like too, sludge. Like, like, like old Bunch. Well, it's a little boondockish for a sophisticate like old Power Glide, but it's just right for you dinos. Don't you agree with me, Spike? Spike? Spike! Hey, kid, where'd you go? Wow, Dinobot Island is too much. I could stay here forever. Will you look at the size of that? Makes an eagle look like a hummingbird. Uh-oh. I think he thinks I'm his next meal. Well, he can forget it. I'm not gonna end up as bird food. Help! Power glide! Swoop! Help! What?
What is this bird planning on hatching out of these eggs? Battleships? I come for you, Spike! I save you! Wow! Thanks, Swoop! I think I was just about to become a little ham on his eggs! You watch where you go this time, Spike! I'll be careful, Swoop. I still want to take a look around. Man, everywhere you look, it's... it's unreal. No! Let go! Help! The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Help! Dinobots! Power slide! Help! Spike! He's got trouble! Hang on, pal! The Thompson Air Rescue Talent is heading your way! Me Grimlock must help friend Spike! Oh, talk about ugly! Fortunately, I'm not really designed for roughhousing with reptiles. But Dinobot is! <laughs> Hurry, guys! This monster thinks I'm a meatloaf! Thanks, guys. <laughs> Dinobot Island's all yours. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Bye, Grimlock. Bye, guys. I'd write, but uh, you can't read. Now, Soundwave. Show us what Laserbeak found on that island. As you order, Megatron. Ah, a raw and primitive place. And an energy paradise ripe for plundering. But what about the strange waves Laserbeak reported? They might be dangerous. Silence! We leave immediately for Dinobot Island! Good place for Dinobot tests! You Grimlock leader! First, target practice! Hit big rocks! Locks say rotten shooting, but getting better. Now, harder tests. Dinobots, transform! Swoop! Do flying stuff! Stuff. Snarl, do tail stuff. <laughs> Getting better, but still not more better enough. It is beyond the calculations of a Cybertronic Electropod. Behold, Starscream, energy sources rich enough for us to control the destiny of this entire solar system. Those bizarre energy waves, Megatron, they still worry me. Stop quibbling. Begin production of energon cubes at once. 
And do not stop until we have drained this island dry! From now on, I'll do my dinosaur watching in books, <laughs> where it's safe. Hey, Spike, over there. Am I seeing things? You're not seeing things, Bumblebee. You're seeing that. It's some kind of barbarian on a woolly mammoth. But that hasn't existed for 50,000 years. They must have come through a time warp. But how? Figure it out later. He's coming this way.
Cobra Commander no longer has the ability to lead, Destro and Dr. Mindbender comb the tombs of the most evil leaders in history and from their genetic tissues produce a composite clone, the ultimate Cobra Emperor, Serpentor. Introducing Serpentor, the ultimate Cobra Emperor. Cobra Emperor comes with air chariot. This is it, the Dreadnought Cycle. Watch out, Joe, because trouble awaits you. The Dreadnought Cycle gonna devastate you. The Dreadnought Cycle has a swivel machine gun that carries four Dreadnoughts, and here's Zanzibar, the Dreadnought Pirate, meanest Dreadnought yet. You can't escape me, air skip. Hope I didn't dirty your nice uniform, lady. <laughs> Adventure of G.I. Joe, Dreadnought's air skip comes with Zanzibar, Dreadnought's cycle, and other figures sold separately. Joe, Joe! Yo, Joe! He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra the enemy, fighting to save the day. Never gives up, he's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe's there! G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. Some he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare if he G.I. Joe. We don't need the villagers. Eliminate them. from my lawyers about this. I'll sue. Myron, I I'm sorry. Honestly, I, I... Cut! Cut! No, no, no. It's all wrong. It's all phony. Well, of course it's phony. It's a movie. My public demands authenticity, Marty. I won't give them anything else. George, authenticity costs money. Hang the cost! Get me real G.I. Joes as technical advisors and real G.I. Joe equipment, or I'm walking off this picture! I've located the captured fire bat. It's... Commander, your hood. Put it on. <laughs> it takes a strong stomach to watch me eat, doesn't it, Destro? The Captured Firebat is at Miracle Motion Picture Studios. What? That Firebat's automatic homing device could lead the G.I. Joe straight here. Don't blame me. Your elite troops allowed the plane to be captured. I recommend the plane be destroyed immediately. So you can sell us a new one? Ha! It costs 15 million to build that homing device. It would be cheaper to steal the Firebat back. We'll use the ultra-secure frequency to summon Zartan and his Dreadnoughts, wherever they may be. Buzzer, the vault! Right. <laughs> Satan, I have a mission for you. But there's a million in gold in there. I'll pay you 
four million. Drop it! Drop it? <laughs> We've got a better offer. We're going to make a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, here to pick up some guys from the G.I. Joe team. And not a moment too soon. That sailor's driving me crazy. <laughs> Hi, Marty Goldblatt, producer of the G.I. Joe story. Pardon me if I seem a little surprised. I guess I expected more in the way of spit and polish. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, Duke wanted all the oddballs out of his hair for a couple of weeks. Dang, look at that! Hollywood! Hey, when do we get shore leave? Come on, no time for that shipwreck. We're way behind schedule. In fact, we're going directly to our desert location. Oh. <sighs> the government has loaned us this really marvelous Cobra equipment. And some Joe equipment, I see. Right. I want this to be the most realistic picture ever made. Well, it'll never look realistic without official G.I. Joe smoke shifters. Smoke shifters? Uh, smoke shifters, of course! Marty, we've got to have smoke shifters. Smoke shifters? Absolutely. I won't film without them. He can get them in Hollywood. Give him money in a car. <laughs> so shipwrecks parading off to Hollywood after all. And someone better keep him out of trouble. Say, Marty, what is a smoke shifter anyway? Torch, follow shipwreck and cover girl. Keep them busy while I prepare a little surprise for our other G.I. Joe friends. Buzz a ripper into the desert. Uh, I've got to hand it to Cobra. Their gear runs rings around yours. Just because you look like Zartan doesn't mean you gotta think like him. <laughs> Face it, this is just a piece of trash. All right, Ricondo, simmer down now. On the other hand, that Cobra Python cycle is a beauty. Look, Buster, I'm not letting some play actor put down my unit in its gear. Then prove it's better with a midnight race. <laughs> Yet, wait till they get in range. We better get back to the set. Later, after we show this bozo who's got the best equipment. <laughs> it's real. Zartan. Uh. Shipwreck! Shipwreck! Who you calling a cheat? <laughs> I think I found him. Figure, shipwreck! You would be uh, in the sleaziest hole in uh, Hollywood! Uh, shut up and fight! Police, I'd like to report a riot. A shipwreck trotting offshore, but I wouldn't have thought it a Dusty and Rakundo. All right, quiet on the set. Buzzer, drop that tower right on the director. Ripper, you take care of the last two Joes. I'll plant some explosives and rip this place apart. And action! <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages.
Now, back to G.I. Joe. Those are dreadnoughts. <laughs> My guess. Lads, they laid us low. That's what. Oh, this is terrible. It's fabulous, colossal. It's the most realistic battle scene ever filmed. Yeah, too bad my camera was crushed under the water tower. Crushed? Then we didn't. Wait. I had four cameras running. The one at the side. Hit by a truck. The ravine camera. Hit by shrapnel. The long shot. We must have gotten the long shot. You! Did you get the battle on film? Ready when you are, Mr. Landsberg! Ooh. <laughs> uh, cover girl and me, uh, we were wondering, uh, could you come bail us out? Bail you out? Why, you useless, no good parasite? Touchy, touchy. I guess the movie's not going too well. Why in the blue blazes didn't you tell us Dusty and Ricondo were missing? Yeah, because you were in jail, Barnacle Brain. But what does Zartan want with that captured fire bag? Hey! Where are you going? We got a movie to shoot! That's my limo! We gotta find some way to search for Ricondo and Dusty. Uh, you know, uh, if Zartan wants that fire bat, uh, maybe I ought to stay behind and guard it. After all, <laughs> what use is a sailor in the desert? Mutt and Junkyard can guard it. I want to keep an eye on you. <laughs> Ouch! Let go! Yeah, looks like we drew God duty again, old buddy. <laughs> uh, what are you shooting today? Aerial footage with the Rattler and the Flight Dogs. I'll be back to sign autographs! Shipwreck! Ah, you're no fun anymore. Zartan to Cobra Commander. Come in, Cobra Commander. Zartan, you fool! You failed to destroy the Firebat! Watch who you call fool! And Torch was captured! Captured? We got to spring him! No! First, the Firebat, then Torch. Uh, how can you stand this heat? Be mellow, man. The heat ain't so bad if you don't move. Coyote, uh, they're only dangerous in packs. You and your big mouth. Flying over the desert. This ain't no job for a sailor. Well, well, what have we here? Don't waste your energy. Wait till they charge. If they charge, we're dog meat. Get lost! Great. First coyotes, now cobras. Oh, Joe! Wait a minute. Listen. Shipwreck? Come in, cover girl and blowtorch! I found him! Yow! Beat it, you crazy coyote! Meep, meep. Hey, Mutt! We found Ricondo and Dusty! Cover girl and blowtorch are taking him to the hospital and... Mutt? Junkyard? 
Avast, you slime back! I've had my fill of ya! You three goons are gonna hurt yourselves traveling alone like this! The automatic homing device will deliver the fire bat to Cobra headquarters while we rescue Torch. Holy cow. Shipwrecks in there. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Fire bats approaching! Defense positions! Excellent! Sartan sent back the fire bat and the Joe! Okay, land lovers, we're all my prisoners! Take him inside for our amusement. Well, now we know what Zartan wanted the fire bat for. It must have had some kind of automatic homing device that took it straight back to Cobra headquarters. Blast! We had the secret right in our hands. And we lost it in shipwreck and got dusty in the hospital. So, there you are. Yes, resting up from your big day. And what's on tomorrow's agenda? Gonna burn down the studio? That's it, the studio. What? You mean we are gonna burn it down? No, I mean maybe we can use some Hollywood make-believe to get Shipwreck back. You expect me to talk, Cobra? No, we expect you to fry. I was afraid you'd say that. Begin the game! Oh, look out! Whoops! I hate dancing without a partner. Sir, a message on our ultra-secret frequency from the G.I. Joe Force. What? This is the G.I. Joe Force in Hollywood calling Cobra Commander. I think Torch is about to tell us the location of Cobra Headquarters. Incredible. They've stooped to using your tactics. Send us shipwreck, or Torch is gonna look like a pin cushion. We can't risk his revealing our location. Stop! Oh, boy. Stop! Okay, quit patting your part. <laughs> so much for my brilliant Hollywood career. I just hope that we fooled him. How long is he gonna be our guest? The FBI picks him up tomorrow. Cobra! Why weren't you in maximum security? Oh, that no, Zartan! They took me to the movie studio so that female Joe could study me face! Study your face? She's a makeup expert. She must be up to something. Zartan to Cobra Commander. Zartan to Cobra Commander, come in! He's left Zartan to rescue your man, Torch. Rescue? Me? Cool. Contact him. Tell him to turn back. I can't. He's under radio silence. Oh, two weeks behind schedule and not a single foot of usable battle film. Where is Torch? You'll get him after you turn Shipwreck loose! No! First you give us Torch, then if this one still lives... He's no fool, is he? Now what? Now let me loose! What the...? It's a trick! Destroy them! Bloody blue blazes is going on. Cast them into eternity. Scatter their bones at my feet. They're mine. What's going on? I don't know, but it looks.
looks wonderful. Film it! Just how do you plan to get out of here? With them. Sky Strikers! Yo, Joe! They're behind us. Commander! Yes, now! Get me out of here! Very well. Follow my signal. This way! We must escape! Follow them! Nice work. Now he'll slip out the back. You saved me. I saved a customer. You've topped yourselves. Now you haven't just wrecked the movie. You wrecked an entire studio. Yeah? Worse than that, Cobra Commander escaped. But isn't it great? I got it all on film! I'm really looking forward to finally seeing this. Thank you all for coming. I've worked long and hard on this film to achieve nothing less than total authenticity. But this achievement would not have been possible without the cooperation and support of some very special people. My mom and my dad. Mom and dad? What about us? Why? Easy, sailor. Get a grip. Let me at him. I'll myrtleize the bum. I'll... Down, boy, down. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. reaches of the universe to challenge the worst villains on earth are the most powerful heroes ever in the battle of the superpowers collection hark batman being called to stop a dastardly deed got you joker don't laugh yet we missed the war it's a trap activate battle ram trouble batman not my batmobile unleash phase two is this the end of our heroes in the batmobile you decide batmobile and superpowers action figures all sold separately Future ruler of the universe presents Steppenwolf, commander of my apocalypse army. The most awesome action figure with the most ferocious power action. Yours free with five proofs of purchase from any of Kenner's superpowers action figures. To tempt you more, you'll get a record that tells about my fight against those despicable superpowers heroes. I'm ending this offer June 1st. He's not yet available at any store, so send for Steppenwolf now. Oh. <laughs>
Bridge will return after these messages. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. Is this the place? Yes, Totilio. This is the place. This is where it begins, and this is where it ends. I hate it when he talks like that. You can almost feel it, can't you? As if we're being watched. It is time. But, Master Jeremy, the words... I do not need them. They're inscribed within my heart and upon my soul. Well, that must have been pretty painful. I had a tattoo once myself and... Ah! No more time for jokes, my friend. This is it. Wish me luck. Asnazig Durabtulak. Asnazig Gimbaltun. Asnazig... Thraka Tulak, Agburza Mishi, Krimpatul, Yura Kazad, Kazadam, Kazadam, Kazadamis! Oh, oh. Master Jeremy? They have heard me, Dottilio, and they have given me what I need. Master Jeremy, must we... that is, there must be another way. You know better than that. The world is a cold, heartless place. It's hurt you and it's hurt me, but no more. For now I have the power, Dottilio. The power to end the world. Not yet. Not yet. First, I must send back some emissaries to Tilio. Then we'll go home. My home, where the pain started. Home to New York. Uh-oh. Okay, let's try it again. Ready, set, fire! How come the particle beams never work on those whatever they are? You've been buying discount protons again, Egon? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Come on. Egon doesn't like it. This does not sound good. Here. Psychokinetic energy readings are skyrocketing all over the world with frightening speed. But the heart of the phenomenon is right here in New York. Hey, New York's a happening kind of place. Tourists love us. Yeah, I just wish we knew what kind of tourists could do all this. I hope you're satisfied, Egon. Do you have any idea how many times I stuck my finger while putting in those silly stick pins? Twelve. Tough going, Janine, old girl, but don't worry. As soon as we can, we'll get you to a vet. Egon! You said you'd transplant his brain into a chicken next time he made fun of me. Those pins, they mark each of our assignments over the last four days, don't they? Yes, it forms a definite pattern. 
there may be something very significant at the center of the star's hub. It's a house, 427 South 15th Street, right here. Hello. Uh, good heavens, I was just about to call you. How did you know? We're the Ghostbusters. We're trained to meet the unusual before it happens. We hate to bother you, miss, but we hear about some strange disturbances. And from your look, I'd say you know something about them. Yes, of course. Come in. His name is Jeremy Whittington. He wanted to marry me, but I just... Well, I have a career to establish. It isn't the right time yet to settle down. Who's his friend? That's Detilio. Jeremy saved him from being run down by a car. He's been Jeremy's loyal companion ever since. Okay. So what has all this got to do with us and all these attacks? When we broke up, Jeremy took it pretty hard. He went a little, well... Nuts? Bonkers? Wonkies? Loopy? Loony? Crackers? I think we get the idea. Go ahead. Pay no attention to him. We never do. He disappeared for a long time. Then I got a letter from him today. He predicted everything that's been happening. He said there was much too much pain in the world to let it continue. He enclosed this. But I don't know what it says. Jeremy said there are only three people in the world who can decipher it. Is there any point in asking? Not really. Can I see it? It's just one word. Ragnarok. Hmm. I wonder. It's overloading. I can't shut it off. Everyone, down! Winston, do you realize the kind of power he must have been in contact with for a single sheet of exposed paper to do that? No. Uh, do I want to? Only if you want nightmares the rest of your life. I'll pass. It's time, Dottilio. Time for the second stage, the second chorus in the Symphony of Destruction. You've really got a one-track mind. Anyone ever tell you that? Is all your equipment this dangerous? Oh, no, no. Well, actually, it is. But we're all very well trained. We haven't blown up a house in days. Yeah, Janine, what is it? Have you guys been watching TV? If not, Winston, I suggest you find one fast. All heck's breaking out. Ah, Doesn't look good, does it? Come on. Oh! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> reporting unparalleled destruction all over the world. Survivors have been quoted as saying that it was as if nature had turned against mankind. All of this has started within the last half hour. Whole cities are being evacuated, hundreds of thousands displaced. No one knows what's happening or why. Governments can only sit helpless and hope that the madness ends soon. Egon, what is it? What's going on? Ragnarok. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, what's Ragnarok? I mean, that's the word on the letter, right? Ragnarok, Armageddon. There are lots of words for it, but they all add up to the same thing. The end of the world, Winston. Somehow, somebody set in motion a process that will lead to the end of the world. Oh my gosh, Jeremy! But you can't stop him, can't you? If we can find him in time, and if we're not already too late, it doesn't look good. Return after these messages. Oh. <laughs> um, we now return to the real Ghostbusters. The end is near. Repent. Did you hear, brothers and sister? The 
end of the world is upon us. No use to argue. But if you donate five dollars, I might be able to work out a reprieve. Actually, you're right. The end of the world is upon us. It is? You mean this is the real thing? <laughs> Shoot! Looks like I'll have to find myself another line of work. Look at him run, Dottilio. And they ain't even seen the worst of it yet. <laughs> it's fun, ain't it? Depends, I guess, on how sick your idea of fun is. I... Did you say something to Tilio? No, Master. Honestly, you alone have my loyalty, my trust, my heart, my throat. See to it that you remember that. I spared the city the worst until I could arrive to oversee it personally. Now there's no longer reason to delay. Come to me, my emissaries. Reveal yourselves at last! Stairs building? Gotta be. Egon? That's it. He's got to be up there. Come on! Back to the car, fast! And to think, this used to be such a nice neighborhood. about Ecto-1. We must speak to him later about his priorities. If there is a later. You know, you're really no fun anymore. It's circling around for another pass. Get it! It's... it's like the thing was laughing at us. I don't understand. Why didn't your beams work? The beams are attuned to the ionization rate of ectoplasm. Ghosts, these things work on a different frequency. And without knowing which frequency to use, it could take us days of trial and error to find it. Our only chance is to stop the problem at its source, the man on top of that building. Final stands are to be played in the destruction of Dazio, Ditilio. A few more notes, and that will be the end of it. I don't know, Jeremy. I'm scared. There is no need for fear, my friend. We alone will go on, for we serve the darkness that will follow. So don't worry. I don't know. I, I mean, it had its problems, but does the world really deserve this? It was really beautiful in places. I... I kind of liked it. That's him. That's him. Let's, Let's get him. Get him. Right. That's the guy. Okay, fire! No, wait! Hello, Cindy. Please, let me talk to him. Hey, I say, what good are we if we can't bring a couple of kids together in this crazy world, eh? Besides, the beams aren't working anyway. Hello, Jeremy. You've changed. Jeremy, I'm sorry if you were hurt, if I hurt you, but this is wrong. You've got an idea, don't you, you kid or you? A way we can take this guy out. Come on, fill us in. There's only one way. We'll have to set our proton packs on simultaneous overload. Oh, great, Egon. We do that, it'll take Jeremy out all right. 
and the building. There'll be a blast crater half a mile wide. And since we'll have to keep hold of them until they blow to make sure they aren't turned off, oh, man. We take out everything within a quarter mile, ourselves with it, and hope it's enough to destroy him, too, before he can destroy the rest of the world. It's a great plan. Count me in. No, it's too late, Cindy. Don't you see? We can try again, Jeremy. Start over if you'll just stop this. No! I won't have your charity. It's too late for me now and too late for everyone. That's the way it's got to be, darling. So goodbye, Cindy. And if it's worth anything, I'm sorry. Arm proton packs. Maximum force. Remove safety. Initiate destruct sequence on my mark. Mark. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah, it's been nice working with you guys. You too, Peter. Hey, ditto. Only next time, don't call me. I'll call you, okay? Janine. Please, Jeremy, don't! Oh! Oh! No! What have you done? You would have gone on. Me the fool? No, you're the fool. You've thrown away everything because the world hurt you. Well, look at me. Yes, I'm small and I'm twisted and I'm ugly, but at least I'm still human. 30 seconds to detonation. Nobody ever said the world was an easy place. Nobody ever said you wouldn't be hurt. If if you weren't sufficiently loved, it's your own fault, not the world's. Tertilio, please. You, you're my only friend. You can't do this. Just take my hand. No, I don't want anything to do with you. You're the one who doesn't care. You, you were born with everything. I had nothing. But I'll have more humanity, more love in my going out than you'll ever have. Ten seconds. All right, I'll stop it, I promise. Now, come on, Dottilio. There's not much time. Dottilio! I'll stop it, Dottilio. I promise. Oh. All right. Switch off, everybody. You don't have to tell me twice. As there's a song of destruction, there's a song of life. I'll play it all back the way it was. Please, all of you, help me. I need your strength to fix it.
Did I do it? I think you did just fine. We all did, my friend. The Eclipse figures with power action, each sold separately. Dark side! The stars? Brainwash them! Mantis, use your power action! Who will save them now? Superman! How will Superman save his fallen friends? You decide! Secret Wars! Marvel's supervillains are coming! Secret Wars! Can the Marvel superheroes stop them? Marvel supervillains and superheroes figures, each sold separately. Here, Doctor Doom and the Doom Platoon. Magneto, Doctor Octopus. There, Captain America and the Champions of Freedom, Spider-Man and Wolverine. Secret Wars, the secret's out. Doctor Doom and Spider-Man, the Marvel Secret Wars collection. Other figures, each sold separately. From Mattel. You've got a tiger by the tail. Hold on, tiger shark. Tiger Shark. The first spaceship with a sail. And hold on, Tiger Shark. Tiger Shark. Hold on, Tiger Shark. We are coming up to the planet Watero. Are you sure this is a good idea, T-Ray? You got a better one, Walleye? Our own planet's dried up. From now on, Watero will be our base. There, take it down over that icy part. Like they're alive. Alive, huh? Well, blast them with the heat rays just to be sure. Immediately, this is an emergency. You are entering a classified area of Tiger Shark's intergalactic underwater salvage. To avoid the alarm system, please identify yourself by voice print. I'm Big Julie from Jupiter. Okay, okay, hold it. It's only me. Just kidding around. Sark, it's Tiger Shark Dove. Identity confirmed. You may enter the site. Up for your old tricks again with Sark? Huh, Dove? Oh, just for a laugh. Say, Mako, how's Lorca doing up there on Watero? having a tough time. We're expecting his latest report any moment. There's a 12-hour delay. It was a dumb idea sending him up there to salvage that spaceship alone. 
I don't know why I agree to it. He does have those Watarians to help him, Waro. I just hope they're all he needs, Angel. They better be. There's two tons of X-400 on that ship. And if that X-400 ever gets into the wrong hands, it's enough to knock Earth clear out of orbit. I don't even want to think about it. Pretty good picture of Watero, eh? Does the Sark have a complete analysis yet, Captain? You heard the man, Sark. What have you got so far? The planet Watero, 90% ocean. Inhabitants can exist and breathe above or below the water. The Imagine if we could do that. I have. Hold it, Sark. Look into tiger sharks. I think I've located the X-400. I'm moving out of the bubble to take a closer look. What's happening up there? Help! Tiger sharks! Mayday! 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 Prepare for an emergency takeoff, Zark. We can blast off in four minutes, 12 seconds. That gives us just enough time. What? Come with me, quickly. Stay down there for the moment. What have you been up to? What is all this? I'll explain. Now, for years, I've dreamed about existing, living, working underwater for long periods of time without bulky equipment. And one day, I came upon the answer. A way for man to breathe underwater. <laughs> like a fish, huh? Exactly. And that's how I came to invent this, the fish tank. The professor, he's turned into a walrus. Incredible. <laughs> Come on in, Tiger Sharks. The water's fine. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I don't believe it. I look like a... <laughs> a shark! And you, doll. Unbelievable! And me, I'm a dolphin. We're almost... fish. All of us. Octavia, frog, angel. Uh, hold your questions. Later. Come with me. Follow! I assume you figured out a way back to our normal bodies? You have, Walro, haven't you? <laughs> of course, Brock. But we must always go back to the way we came. This is the only way back to our regular bodies. We are clearing Earth's atmosphere. Deploying solar sails. I ask you for the last time. What are you doing here on what arrow? Did I say again? I am Lorca from Intergalactic Salvage. And that's all you're going to get. You're not a fish, you know. One pull, and you wouldn't last two minutes at this depth. Capitan Bizarre here. Come to thank you for freeing me from my icy vacation. Won't you join me aboard for a friendly chat? Whoever you are. Won't you join me aboard for a friendly chat? I wonder. We accept, Captain. In friendship. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you. When you see them, Dragonstein. Incinerated! We can trust him after all. <laughs> He's
is one of us. <laughs> Seems we are both on the same side, Captain Mazzarli. We have the same cause. And what cause is that, fish man? Why, evil, of course. What other cause is there? <laughs> we are over Lorca's last known position. Look! There, two ships of a sort. Let's land and investigate. They're diving. We better get under and see what they're up to. Doesn't happen, eh? Dog, those look deadly. I'll take the first one. Nice move, Walro. Echo, in back of you. Running out of air. Must get surface. Dolphins need air, Mako. Dogs in trouble. Quick! Thanks, Tiger Sharks. I needed that. Look, the last one. We'll never catch up with it. Oh no? <laughs> Just hang on. Release steel net. Sark, reverse electric field. your fish and follow us. This may come as a surprise, but I can use you. Today, nothing would surprise me. He'll work for us, Dragon Style, if we let him think we're working for him. <laughs> hey, my pet. Angel and me are gonna follow that weird ship, see where it's headed. Just make sure you stay well back and keep in touch all the way. Yeah, these guys play rough. Meanwhile, let's contact the Watarians. Maybe they can help us locate Lorca. I am called Papa Gallo. My name form is Hydra. And I am known as Gobi. We are the ruling council of Watero, and we welcome you. We hope you can help us in our search for another of our kind, a tiger shark named Lorca. I'm afraid he may be in dire trouble. We had a report of an invasion by unfriendly Mantanas in that region. Who are these Mantanas? Where do they come from? We do not know them, only that they have freed two of our most feared enemies, Captain Bizarrely and the terrible Dragonstein. 
For many years, we Wattarians lived in peace and safety because our ancestors froze all of our enemies into the ice of a place called Siberia. Bazali and these newcomers are working together, it could mean the end of Watero as a place of peace in the galaxy. They must have gotten in somehow. I think I saw an entrance through that way. No way. Not through that. Well, I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, Bronx. If you're a game. More terrifying than out there. Yeah. Look. Let's contact Mako. I've got a feeling we may have found Lorca. Clever devices you have here, Bizarrely. I'm glad you think so. Now, who are you? And what do you want on Watero? I am T-Ray, head fish of the Mantanas. With you above the surface and us below, we could take over this place, get rid of these Watarians, or use them. Uh, you may be right, much as I hate to admit it. I love the water. First thing we have to do is unfreeze the rest of your crew, then find out who this person is, what he was doing here. And who his underwater friends are. I have no friends. I'm here alone. I am Lorca, just an explorer. Call the rest of your school together. We sail for Siberia in an hour. T-Ray to Mantana. I want everyone at Bizarrely's castle on the double. Have Carper and Weakfish bring the sawbill with them now. I've pinpointed their location. All we have to do now is find our way in. Vehicle approaching at one mile and closing from southwest. No, come on. <laughs> Until Walro sees him. Come on, Gup. Look, coming up on your left. Let's trail him. This water's cold, and it's dark, and it's my day off. Too much. I'm getting seasick. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I hate dogs. I'm afraid of dogs. Yeah! They've got Lorca chained. Careful, there's a dragon and a room full of air. I'll take it from here. I could use a breather. Lorca is it. I'd like to introduce you to a dear friend. Dragon's time. Incinerate him! Look, it's me, Dolph. Cute, huh? What? How? Dragon's time. No time for questions. I'm Dolph. Trust me. Come on. <laughs> All too bizarre. Come on, 
won't hold them for long. If I were seeing it with my own eyes, I'd never believe it. I thought for a moment that you weren't coming back with me. I'm sure glad I did. So, this fish tank was your idea, Walro. You're a genius. Oh, only took a few years of tinkering. Oh, Walro, almost forgot. We have a little surprise for you. Gop! Hey, Gop! Well, I'll be fried and filleted. Even, Gup? It's hard to believe, Walro. Hey, Lorca hasn't tried it. Yeah, in the fish tank with you. Here to give it a try? Sure, why not? I wonder what he'll be. Go for it, Lorca! It's good to be back, Tiger Sharks. I feel like my old self again. <laughs> Hold on, you've got a tiger by the tail. Next on Tiger Sharks. X-Men. This is my. And it sounds too. Three separate voice sound activators let you control what they say. Die, Spider-Man. And do. I want to eat your brain. Spider-Sense tingling. Marvel talking superheroes and X-Men. Each sold separately from Toy Biz. Open the jaw, Green. The powers of evil control Castle Grayskull. Oh yeah, Dad, what? Ram Man's power. I'll get us inside, He-Man. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. You have to put the castle together. Ram Man, use your head. I just did. Not that way. We have a prisoner. Good. Who's the prisoner? You are, because we have the power. Oh, no. Ram Man and He-Man from the Masters of the Universe. Collide. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold separately. Ram Man, He-Man, and Castle Grayskull, each sold Jay searches for his father to unite the magic root and lead his lightning league to victory over the changing form of Saw Boss. Wheeled warriors explode into battle. Lightning strikes. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you. As every day you're reaching Just keep on turning, don't stop rolling, the fire's on. 
must help us. Marduk, the dictator who rules this planet, has made a deal with someone called Sawboss. For years I've led the rebellion against Marduk. Now he's asked this Sawboss and his monster minds to help him get rid of us. We need your help. They'll be here in 24 hours. Please come quickly. Alone and on foot across the ice to avoid Marduk's sensors. You're our only hope. You've been on Ariga before, Herc. Is what she said true? That you're their only hope? <laughs> I don't know anybody else dumb enough to tangle with the monster minds. I'm talking about Marduk. Oh, sure. He's the big boss of the gambling casinos. Cyril and the rebels have been fighting them for years. Gambling casinos? What are gambling casinos? Where have you kept this kid hidden? Ariga has the greatest gambling casinos in the galaxy. They run the whole city. Herc, set the course. Our next stop, Ariga. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. This ice will work as perfect camouflage for the pride. <laughs> Why not? There's sure nothing else on this miserable little ice ball. Except the gambling casinos, that is. So why do Monster Mines want it? Because of where it is. If the Monster Mines can get a foothold here, they'll be able to use it as a jumping off point. What's the matter, Flora? <gasps> Monster Mines! Monster Mines? Where? I'm not sure. The feeling is weak. Because there aren't any here. The scanner came up with a big fat zero. Very well. You have fulfilled your part of the bargain. Now we will fulfill ours. Is all in readiness? Yes, Excellency. Ah, all finished. It's time for Un and me to go, Gillian. You're not really gonna walk to the city across the ice. It's below zero out there. Ooh, it's not much warmer in here. I hope it's better in the city. I was here when Auriga was being built. The underground steam pipes keep it as warm as summer. Why don't you work on something to heat us up instead of this, this, uh... Electronic reprogrammer. It's much more important than heat. Allow me to show you. You mean unless we order it to, it won't work? Oh. Wow. Precisely. It can be effectively used to change the programming of any electronically controlled devices. So? I'm hoping to modify it for use against the monster mines. At present, it only works on machines. Then how about using it on that solid-state pest? I'm leaving the root in your care, Gillian. There's something about this I don't like. And perhaps you shouldn't go. If the monster mines are coming, I've got to find out how we can stop them. The lives of billions of people in this sector are at stake. But I'm not going on foot, and I'm not going across the ice. And he's not going alone. He'd probably be safer if he did. If I'm not back in two hours, I want you to leave without me. And tell my father, tell my father I tried. Come on, Oon. Four hours till the monster mines show up. Gillian won't be needing this. 
Yeah, that's plenty of time for me to reprogram Marduk's roulette wheels and break the bank. Where are you going, Herc? And what have you got? Where I'm going is out. And what I've got is the key to my fortune. Can I come? Not in your life, kid. Please, Herc. It's cold here. And in the city, there are plants. And I've never seen a casino. And you're not going to see one this time. Fame and fortune, here I come. I want you to stay here with Drill Sergeant Noon. My rendezvous with Cirilla is just around the next corner. If there's any trouble, you'll have to get me out. Uh, trouble? I'll signal you with this if anything happens to me. But what if something happens to me? Twenty-eight red. Well, what do you know? I guess this is just my lucky day. That may change. Okay, this time, fifteen white. Hey. Yo. Uh, who, uh, me? <laughs> you're, you're not gonna hold a man's luck against him, are you? <laughs> Quiet. Just keep walking. Ha! Flora! Kirk, you dropped your key to good luck. What? Cirilla, you are Jace? Yes. You need my help against the monster mines? We've needed help for years against that gangster Marduk, who's made slaves of everyone on the planet so he can make money. My mission is to stop the monster mines. Not mine. To destroy Marduk's power, I would deal with the monster mines myself. What? Monster mines? Boone, it's your turn. Get that kid! I'm sorry! What are you doing? I gave you Jace. Sawboss promised me you would leave my planet in peace. Take her away. <laughs> Monster mines in the city itself. It's a trap! Let's get out of here! Monster Mines! Monster Mines! That's because they have brains, which is more than I can say for you. Yeah, 
And if you'd had any brains, we'd have stayed away from this frozen chunk of rock. Ah! The steel's too hard. We'll never drill through it in time. Programmer. I told you, it doesn't work on Monster Mines. There's a shutoff valve up there. It took me 15 minutes to set that thing for a roulette wheel. You'll never reprogram it in time. Then we'll open it manually. That thing's 20 feet up. Even Armed Force couldn't reach that high. Not reach, throw. Get in. Everyone, hurry! <laughs> By the time they get through that shutter, we should be through this wall. There's some life on there. Some kind of plant. Something that isn't the monster mines. Growing deep under the ice. Are you kidding? There's nothing growing out there but icicles. I seem to remember you saying there weren't any monster mines around either. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. The biggest mistake I ever made was getting involved with this crazy expedition. So, Jace has escaped the trap. Little will it help him. We have the planet. He will not get away. is here. Looks like it's about time for us to go. They can take this crummy planet and they're welcome to it. No! Oh, I was afraid you'd say something like that again. They want Auriga for a jumping off point. From here they can invade not one galaxy, but dozens. They have to be stopped here. Have any other great ideas, Hotshot? Hey, Herc, can you do something with that reprogrammer? Ah, I may have a solution. What is it, Gillian? <laughs> Gillian, you're gonna take care of the heating system while we draw their attention. Exactly. The plan I'm confident will work. betrayed us. Who are you to talk of betrayal? You promised us you would leave us in peace. Enough, little girl. Jace! Cirilla, run! No, Jace, go back! Does he think he can stop me now? A 
most beautiful example of a heat flow regulator. Now, where did I put that reprogrammer? Hmm. This must be the plant Flora talked about. The kid sure got us into a mess this time. It's okay. Grace knows what he's doing. Maybe. But that doesn't mean it's gonna work. After him. Without his ship, he won't get far. That should do it. They've diverted the heat. They're turning it out under the glacier. You just knew what he was doing? Never doubted it. here, but their planet has been destroyed as well. I do believe that's enough. Cirilla, wake up! Cirilla? It's all right. And the monster mines are gone. Frozen under the glacier. Chase, I was a fool. I thought nothing could be as bad as Marduk's tyranny. I was so wrong. Boy, were you wrong? You can't make deals with evil like the monster mines. It's sure not the place it used to be. what I found. What is it, Gillian? First, this. He was locked up with his thugs in the Undercity. Marduk! Hey! Let me down, you fool! The casinos! They wrecked my casinos! Better that than to go on being ruled by gangsters like you. Just you try to keep everyone on this planet from starving to death without them! Or get money to fix the dome! But you don't need the casinos to live. You're so right. There is life here on this planet, down under the ice. She sensed it. Exactly. Here's my second find. It's called biologate. But that's one of the rarest forms of high-energy producing lichen. It can be used as a food source or fuel. This is fantastic. We can mine and trade it for three times what the casinos made. So much for your crooked casinos, El Creepo. You want me to lock them back up for you? No. I'm sure we can find some useful work for him to do. Work! Thank you. Thank you all. Jace. I'm sorry. We all make mistakes. The monster minds themselves were created by someone who was only trying to do good. Do your best to make Ariga a fine planet once again. I will, Jace.
Watch Zelda become a legend on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! <laughs> Which way you go? Good times. Legend of Zelda. A never-ending adventure new for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! Wang, <laughs> the master brain from Dimension X, ally of the evil Shredder and Baxter Stockman, the wickedly winged scientists are out to destroy the Ninja Turtles. Wang Doc! Right! Ace Duck, the turtle's tough feathered friend, along with Ninja's Frog, who's always hopping for action, always ready to fight on the side of the turtle. You'll be riveted to your scene! Ninja Ninja Turtles! From Playmate! In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies, courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. security guards it's not my idea goose so quit complaining to me playing nursemaid to a bunch of pictures <laughs> that bunch of pictures happens to be treasures of art from a hundred different cultures both human and alien and priceless doc's right this is an opportunity to generate a lot of goodwill among allied planets but it's also an opportunity for big trouble and we're supposed to make sure that trouble doesn't happen. It'll do you good to see an art show, Goose. I'd rather be chasing smugglers. We have you on scans, Ranger One. Two, three. That landscape's from Nebraska. The planet or the state? The planet, Doc. And that, hmm, that looks like a Zotrop mobile. What's that thing? This is a sensation doll. It was made by one of the Poe mutants. Edgar Allan Poe mutants, it looks like. Don't joke, my friend. Once upon a time, the Poe mutants controlled a vast empire. For a bunch of big shots, they sure made lousy art. It's not what you can see that's so special about this object. You're supposed to touch it. <laughs> that's a good one. You're supposed to touch it and it's stuck under a foot of glass. You bet it is, because unless you're a Poe, that thing is deadly. It's a kind of battery, a storage battery. It holds one million emotions, a hundred thousand kinds of fear, a quarter million varieties of anger, jealousy, love, one touch and... <laughs> The Emotional Electric Chair. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about somebody stealing this thing. Maybe not. This sounds funny, I know, but it looks almost alive. In a way, it is. It literally contains the personality of its maker. Let's make the rounds. Uh, what time is it? Relax. We got three more hours till everybody clears out and we can go to work.
looks good. I'll go first. I thought I was gonna go crazy cooped up inside that thing. Yeah, you'll forget all about that once you start counting your money, so let's get this business over with. with those pieces. Would you look at this mess? How could you let this happen? Take it easy, Curator. I've ordered a full station search. Good. Find any identification on the thief your men stopped? None, but we're running a few checks right now. So are we. That's how they got in here. They just sat all scrunched up in here until everybody was gone. Get down from there! Are you loony? Curator, when was this web and spider installed? Why, just yesterday morning. Early shuttle brought it in from Mars. The artist lives there in a colony called New Pigal. A woman named Arizona McGee. I've heard of her. Everybody's heard of Arizona. She's fabulously famous. And she couldn't possibly have had anything to do with this. That is out of the... Emergency! Area 7! Come on! Sounds like somebody's trying to leave. Wait for me! He's escaped! He's gone? You let him go? Listen, guys. I wasn't armed and he was. I don't get paid enough to be a hero. Galaxy Rangers, we're going to Mars. I think we should have a little talk with this Arizona McGee. Arizona McGee. Sensation dolls. Spiders from Mars. Now we're cooking! Mr. Subtract, I, I wasn't expecting you to be here. Oh, we've been waiting quite a while. Hope you don't mind. I gave my little friend some cake you had lying around. No, of course I don't mind. Well, I got it. Yeah, so I heard. Everybody's heard. What happened, Miller? You were both supposed to be back here by the time they even found out the Sensation Doll was missing. I don't know what happened, Mr. Subtract. Everything was great until we grabbed the thing. And then they got Sanderson. Yeah, they did. But at least I got the doll. Miller, kindly open that suitcase, will you? 
I want to see what this thing looks like. So, there it is, Mr. Subtract. Uh, the, do you have the money with you? I'm really gonna need it fast. Easy, Crumb. Mr. Subtract, uh, my money! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? No, no, no! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, no, no, stop! What's the story here? Are the bugs taking over? Call the exterminator. Earth pests that stowed away on colonist ships have found Mars much to their liking. Well, I guess we know where the artist gets her inspiration. Arizona! Arizona McGee! Miller, is that you? Where you been? Who are you? I thought you were Miller. Miller? My helper! You don't think I lug all this heavy metal around by myself, do you? Are you people art collectors? Do you want to buy something? This helper of yours, Miller, by any chance, did he recently deliver a sculpture of yours to the show on Beta Space Station? Yes, just yesterday. What's the problem? Do you happen to know where Mr. Miller lives? You're police, aren't you? What's a Galaxy Ranger? Would you please come along with us and show us where Miller lives? We'll explain everything along the way. You sell much of this stuff? Believe it or not, yes! <laughs> I don't understand. You think he hid inside my sculpture? <laughs> if I get my hands on some track with doing this to me, I'll... I'm so mad I could tear him to pieces! I'm sorry I ever got involved in this thing. Why did I let Jackie Subtract talk me into it? I'm sorry, Arizona. I'm really sorry. He touched the doll. Sounds as if he was forced to. The emotional electric chair. You all really hate me. Well, I hate you too! This Jackie Subtract who talked you into this. Does he have the sensation doll now? If I tell you where he is, will you promise not to hurt me? We won't. Jackie lives over in the lowest east side. Everybody knows Jackie Subtract over there! Now please go away. You want what? A Mars Ruby. Go to the jewelry store, don't come to me. The Ruby I want isn't for sale. The owner wants to keep it, but I want it. You want somebody to steal this Ruby for you, is that it? You don't want me, lady. You want Jackie Subtract. Pandemonium Street, number 301. Good little bug. Hey, boss, this lady wants to talk to you. Now, what's all this I hear about a ruby that's not for sale? I'm not interested in a ruby, Mr. Subtract. What really interests me is a little doll. Ah, I see. I need some help in here. You yeah. rang? Trip. If he leaves the building by the back exit, 
he'll run right into Goose. You see, I'm a grown man. Don't get funny with me, pal. I'm warning you. Crumb, you naughty girl. Where have you been? I don't believe this. A trained roach. This job just keeps getting better. Crumb, attack! Yuck. Don't hurt Crumb. Have a heart! Leave my pet alone! Tell me where the doll is or I'll squash this bug. Alright, just don't hurt her! Where is it? It's on its way to Earth. There's a guy there who collects statues and sculptures and stuff for this weird garden that he's got. I had the doll stolen for him! Where on Earth? I ran a check on this collector. He's an art lover, alright. What he loves, he buys. What he can't buy, he steals and smuggles from Tortuna to New Jersey. And he lives in New Jersey? He owns New Jersey! Roger, Ranger 1. You are cleared for landing. Ah, it's so beautifully ugly, isn't it, Peters? If you say so, sir. The sun comes out at night, doesn't it, Peters? If you say so, sir. Sir, apparently some intruders have entered the property. Oh, I wonder if they've come for you. I don't think we need worry too much about intruders. This garden, something tells me it's not as innocent as it looks. I know why we haven't seen any guards around here. Why? I think there's the man to see. Be careful. The fountain! Blast the fountain! My fire fountain! Those silly steeds have destroyed my fire fountain! If you say so, sir. There's something very familiar about the collector. <laughs> You two deal with the Collector. We'll take care of ourselves. Got an idea. We have to move together, okay? Drag this thing towards that tree over there. Goose, it's Brappo. And he's got the doll. Remember, don't touch it. 
Worse than gum on my boot. <sighs> I'm billing him for dry cleaning. You caused us a lot of trouble, Prapo. Now I'm gonna cause you some. Peters, get rid of him. I quit, sir. Peters! <laughs> All right. How much do you want? Don't make me mad. We're here for the doll. You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> Nico! No! no! Goose! Oh, oh, oh. Touch him! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Goose, can you hear me? Goose? How do you feel, Goose Man? Feel? I feel wonderful. Go to sleep, my masterpiece. You're safe now. What happened? Why didn't he? He did. Goose absorbed everything that the Sensation Doll had to give. One million emotions. But Goose's biodefenses protected him in a very special way. Do you remember what Nico said? That doll contains the life force of its maker. And Goose absorbed that life force. He became that Poe mutant artist. Goose? An artist? Then I'm Santa Claus. One million emotions. What was it like? Come on. What was what like? I didn't feel a thing, I'm telling you. You know us super troopers, Doc. We get angry and we get mad. And that's about as emotional as we ever get. Right? Spotted by the evil Rulon. Take this, young star. You need glasses, Hammerhead. Pick out someone your own size, big eyes. The Rulons on their Triceratops aim their lasers. I'll distract them. Quickly turn it from his Dyracosaurus. Fire. Deep rocks, Rulons. Triceratops with motorized walking action. Styracosaurus and Quetzalcoatlus with figures in battle gear. Dino Riders. Oh. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. Hi, my name is Mike. This is a story about me and my friends. Like my mom, she's a wonderful mother. And my dad, he is a one cool dude. That's my teacher. She is the best. Mike's a super kid. Mike is very... Brilliant. Outspoken. That's my friend Tracy. I think she's beautiful. Come on, let's take a ride to McDonald's. There's all my friends. Hey, you know, me and James are our best pals. We are a great team. Hi, it's up. Perfect. Ever since I was a little baby, people are always trying to help me. So now I love to say, Welcome to McDonald's. Can yeah, I help you?
into one Take roommates, especially a bump like you. Oh, somebody get me out of here! This locker, this school, this planet! Whoa! Whoa! Hey, you scared me, dude. I was just trying to help you out. Well, who are you? Wolfgang Armadillos from Planet Asteroid. I'm Doyle Cleverlow from Earth. Oh! Earth stinks! Not you, too. <laughs> Relax, I was only kidding. Hey, you know where homeroom is? Homeroom, huh? I guess you're new here. Yeah, I'm here for the hands cross the universe dance. <laughs> Put her there! <laughs> you can find homeroom yourself. Hey, I'm sorry. It's just my way of breaking the ice. It ain't easy being a new kid, especially if you look like me. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I'm new here, too. Come on, Wolfgang. Follow me to homeroom. Now, 
in trouble. Loosen up, Doyle. Everybody loves a good laugh, especially the teacher. A class? A class? And then may I have your attention, please? <laughs> now, that's better, students. <laughs> uh, the first order of the day will be the dance. Blackboard, will you tell the students what they can expect? Saturday night is the hands across the universe dance with students arriving from every galaxy and chosen to represent Galaxy High on the gala dance committees are the following lucky students. Milo de Venus, you will be working the laser show. Congratulations! <laughs> Amy, Gilda, and Bowie, you have won coveted assignments on the Decorating and Refreshment Committee. What a glorious menu! <laughs> and for Cleanup Committee, Doyle Cleverlow. Start cleaning up right now, Ice Boy. One of these days, B, I'll get the last laugh. Oh, Doyle, you really are becoming more and more the class bimbo. Yeah, for sure we ain't gonna be king of the dance, right, B? There's only one king around here, and don't you dweebies forget it. Oh, uh, thank you, B, for reminding me. Uh, don't forget, students, to get your votes in for king and queen. Oh, it's going to be a lovely ceremony. Just lovely. Ms. McBrain, I would like to thank you for letting me into your class. How nice of you, Wolfgang. You're such a thoughtful boy. Yeah, I'm gonna make a real big bang around here. Pick up this bomb. Gee, Doyle, your new friend is a real first class gazord. Uh, you got the wrong idea. I'm trying to straighten him out. Thanks, Doyle, for making my first day at Galaxy High so easy. You're a real pal. Class and worms dismissed. Hey, wait up! I've got more tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> Could you repeat that? I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, girls, ready for today's water ballot? Ugh, oh, Grosky. I don't want to get my hair wet. Oh, thank you. Whoever you are.
about your friend Wolfgang? He's giving you a bad reputation, Doyle. Lola Lunar says he's been kicked out of five schools in four years. Or is it six schools or years? <laughs> Why don't you guys give him a chance? I know he's pulled a few pranks, but he is our guest for the dance. Doyle's right. He's the first student to arrive for the Hands Across the Universe dance. We have to think about our school's reputation. Okay, Doyle. We'll give him one more chance, but he'd better change his ways. Or you'll find yourself looking for new friends, Doyle. And you don't have that many friends to begin with. of Wolfgang to treat us to pizza. I'm glad you had that talk with him, Doyle. He's even helping me serve all the pizza. He's a really nice boy, that Wolfgang. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. Yeah! Mmm! 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 Here, try this on it. <laughs> Wolfgang! <laughs> Hiccup powder! <laughs> Never fails! <laughs> hey, maybe I had this guy all wrong. He ought to be on our side. He tricked me. I didn't know he was gonna do this. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more about that friend of yours. That's a last straw, Doyle. You gave him a chance and he let you down. He's all yours. Where's everybody going? Is it my pizza? <laughs> it's not your pizza, Luigi. It's Wolfgang and his dumb pranks. Oh, I went too far, huh? I convinced the kids to give you a second chance and now look what you've done. They won't even talk to me now. I've had enough so long, Wolfgang. Hey, Doyle, wait up. Well, I didn't mean to. Hey, Wolfie, forget the Earth Boy. That stinks. It's you and me now. We belong together. You're a chip off the old beef. I don't know. I really ought to talk to Doyle. Forget about those bimbos. From now on, you're a member of the Bunk Bunch. I am? Gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Wolfie, and the Bunk Bunch takes care of its own. Well, uh, what, what, what do you mean? Earth Boy, you know those dimbos who walked out on you? We're gonna teach them a thing or two. Not telling them beef! We're gonna play the biggest joke of all time! You're looking at the king of that dance, so you can start calling me your majesty. Give me your ears. Just gonna be a Galaxy High has ended, and I look forward to seeing you in class again bright and early tomorrow morning. Sleep well, my dears. Wolfgang, what are you doing? Don't worry, Doyle. It's going to be great. I'll bet it is. Give, give me that box. Let go, Doyle. You don't understand. Oh, Ms. McBrain! Doyle, what are you doing? Uh, um... Don't try to outsmart me, Doyle. I demand to know what you're doing with the ballot box. Well, you see, Ms. McBrain... Uh, Doyle was just making sure that no one was messing around with the ballot box. <laughs> He was chosen to make sure no one changes the results. <laughs> well, Doyle, I never knew you were so conscientious. Oh, that gives me an idea. I have some confidential files, and you're the perfect person to organize them. <laughs> Wolfie, 
me? No problem. Tonight, you are the king. <laughs> laser show we ever had. the rest of the night away, Queen Amy. All right now, people, settle down. We must announce the queen. And the winner is Biddy McBrain. Uh, Miss McBrain, oh, time to get your crown, dear. <laughs> What's you, Betty? They've elected you queen. Say what? What is this? Oh, 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 my goodness. I did! <laughs> Some joke on beef, huh? <laughs> Wait till the kids hear about this! <laughs> and now, the king and queen will lead us all in the traditional hands across the universe. Thanks. Shall we cut a rug, Mr. Bonk? Dance, Bonk, or you'll be on detention for the next four years. <laughs> or beef so miserable. Did you hear? Wolfgang changed the ballot boxes. He made Ms. McBrain queen. Wow, that was really sweet of Wolfgang. <laughs> yeah, maybe we had them all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling. 
Listen, I'm not sure about this. Someone could get hurt. I know what I What's going on? Doyle, come on! Just a little more! It's breaking apart! Be, be careful, Wolfgang! Hey, Wolfgang, wait up! You risked your life to save me! Friendship! That's what this dance is all about, isn't it? And for all the trouble you caused at the dance, Rotten Roland, I'm sending you to the detention planet for two weeks. And as for you, Wolfgang, you reached out across the universe and lent a hand to your friend Doyle. Oh, it was nothing, Miss McBrain. And may I say, you made a lovely queen. <laughs> oh, 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 and for that, Wolfgang, I can't thank you enough. Thanks for everything, Doyle. I owe a lot to you. You're okay too, Wolfgang. You really came through. I've learned my lesson. No more pranks. Put her there. Uh, how about using the other hand, Wolfgang? Anything you say. <laughs> Wolfgang! <laughs> I couldn't resist it for old time's sake. <laughs> Why don't you keep it to remember me by? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find Beef. Beef? I never did congratulate King Beef. I got a sudden urge to shake his hand. invited an expert team to our laboratory to give us their opinions of Disney's DuckTales video game from Capcom. Yes! Awesome! You will have exciting adventures helping Scrooge McDuck escape danger and become the richest duck in the world. Cool. Totally hot. Way radical, man! Excellent! Join the DuckTales gang in Disney's DuckTales for Nintendo by Capcom. Also, look for Mickey Mouse Capay. It's a quacker! Oh! Yo, video game dudes! Talk to me! Excellent! This is Game Genie! Uncle Woo! The awesome video game enhancer for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Attach it to most of your video games, like Double Dragon 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, and buckle up! Cause you'll do what no video dude has done before. You can go to any level, get unlimited lives, live forever, like a video zombie! Excellent! You'll jump totally higher! Make your own effects. And King Genie gives you more firepower. Go for it, Doomster. <laughs> Go to any level, jump higher, stay bigger, live forever. Game Genie, the radical video game and answer from Galoo. Survives in the air. The 
That's all I ask. Your time is up, Gangren. I swear, if you fail me this time, you'll regret it for the rest of your life, which, by my calculations, won't be very long. I am going to give you the only thing that the dragonflies have over you. A floating city. This magma power converter is a thousand times more powerful than any crystal. Right now, as we speak, it's pumping magma from deep below the surface of old Earth. Once the fission engines are replenished, Warnado will rise high above the cloud. All I have to do to ignite it is press this, where it will stay until the end of time. Then ignite it, fool! Do you hear me? Go on! I've stayed in the shadow of Erlandus long enough! This sector is stripped clean. Not an amber crystal in sight. Keep looking. We should complete the sweep. I'm getting some heavy activity in Dread Sector. A volcanic reaction, 5.6 tremor and climbing fast. There she blows! You've seen one erupting volcano. You've seen them all. Problem is, this is a dead zone. There are no volcanoes in this area. Well, there is now. <laughs> Let's recon the area and check it out. <laughs> it's working! It's actually working! I, I can't believe it! Again! Give it full power, Gangren! Rise, Warnado! Rise! That's not a volcano! It's Warnado! Are those engines I hear? It can't be! Holy dragon tongue! Look at the size of that thing! Tornado's rising! We've got to stop it before it reaches their landing! Let's go, Sky Fury! There's our way in! Claw to the floor, Sky Fury! Give it all you've got! Steady! Summit! Steady! Got you!
Don't worry, Sky Fury. We'll break Summit Mountain. To our Landis! I have risen from the ashes like a fiery phoenix. And now, my burning flame of vengeance will scorch the flesh of Erlandus as the dragonflies beg for my mercy. What was that? It's the warp winds. I don't know if the ship will hold together under such force. Nothing will stop my ascension. But the winds reach a velocity of 3,000 miles per hour here. Do you feel that gangrene? That's Erlandus trembling at our approach. <laughs> Tremble, Erlandus. Tremble! Zenith, do you read me? I'm checked into Hotel Dread. Peak, Apex, anybody. There's no reason to think their ship could make it through that. We must be prepared nonetheless. Joshua is right. Orak, ready the warp cannon. But it's still experimental. We've never tried it before. We can blow the Warnado out of the sky, but we've got to get Summit out first. It's a council decision, Zenith. We are one on this. Under no circumstances must Warnado be permitted to enter our airspace. Dread must be put down. What about Summit? We have until the Warnado is in the range of the warp cannon to rescue him. Hmm. Dragonators, power up. You all know what your orders are. Exo wing, check. Dragonflies, maximize! Summit is in there, but when we get down to it, the most important thing is to stop the Warnado from reaching Air Landis at any price. Ready to test fire. Initialize! Oh. Fire! <laughs> Again! Using double power this time! <laughs> Open her up and go through the sequence again. From A to Z, we've got to get it working. We did it! We did it! The ship is intact. Minimum damage. You see what you can do with a little faith and fear. Now, Erlandus, you are mine. <laughs> Somebody left a window open and let a fly get in. I will kill you for that, dragonfly. No fright. His screams are mine. Shortcut. You like games? Try this. Huh? Tag, you're it. For me, you shouldn't have. Stop. There's no reason to follow. He won't come out alive. Not from the corridor of blood. Oh, and it's just about feeding time. It's no good. I've lost all communication. Got to find a way to bring the Warnado down on my own.
Some kind of mutant grim wings. Better let him know who's boss. Ah! Carnivores! Flesh eaters! Ah! Too fast! One way out. Dragonfly turbo spin. This is Dragonator 1. We have visual contact with Warnado. Prepare to engage. Do you read me, Zarkan? Loud and clear, Dragonator 1. Orak needs at least half an hour to get the cannon up and running. We have to buy him some time. So belly up to the bar, boys. I'm buying. For too long, we have coveted the floating city of Elamis. Now we will cast the humans and their city to the warp winds. We will purge them from the skies. I proclaim today the Day of Dread in honor of our final victory. Now I know how David felt when he met Goliath. We're going to need more than a slingshot to bring that down. We've got more, but we won't have it for another half an hour. And that's all the time we've got to get Summit out. What if we can't get Summit out? Not an option. The dragonflies are in formation. Lock on! With all exterior heat plasma guns! Welcome to your destruction, dragonflies. Ready to fire, Dreadwing. <laughs> fire! Dragonator 1, this is Dragonator 5. Can't secure entry. Under heavy fire. Impossible to attempt rescue. Turn to our madness. Sounds like Big Brother and the troops are on their way. But they'll never make it in time. It's up to me. There's got to be a way. Magma! That's where the power's coming from. Dread is pumping molten lava to power the ship's engines. The magma's flowing down. I just have to follow it and go with the flow. Up, Nora. Pull her up. The fight's over for you, Nora. Return to Skywatch. Dragonflies maximize. Gotta be a way in. Summit. I got two words for you, my friend. Dental hygiene. You die, human. I must be getting closer to the source. It's getting hotter. I can feel it. This is it. This has to be the engine room. Careful. <laughs> careful, be very careful. We can't let the magma flow too fast. The converter will explode. Don't get too high and mighty yet, Dread. You want Air Landis? You gotta get past me. Yeah. Oh. You'll fall from grace, Dre. 
dragonfly. But don't worry, Zenith. Elandus will be right behind you. Here it comes! Get the warp cannon into position! Zenith, this is Aura. Warnado is in range. What about Summit? Do I fire? Come in, Zenith! Dragonator down, Lorak. Zenith is unconscious. Warnado is in range! None of us are going to get any older than tomorrow if we don't do something now! Then you must fire! Target locked, sir. Stand clear! Good luck, my son. Ha! I am invincible! I cannot die! I am forever! It didn't work! Fire again! For his chance. <gasps> it's the dragonfly. Get him. <laughs> Ooh, pain has a face, dragonfly. Allow me to show it to you. Goodbye, Airlandus. You boys shouldn't play with fire. You can get burned. Yeah. Stop it! Stop it! The pressure is building up in the converter. We can't control the magma if you shoot the valves off, you idiots! It's too late! It's jammed! Run for your lives! in next time you decide to check into Hotel Dread without a reservation. <laughs> I don't think I'll be staying there again. I didn't like the view, but I like the view from up here. <laughs> <laughs>
might is might. Dragonflies, maximize, fly forever through dragon skies. When dread wing and its grim wings rise, no one can stop them but the dragonflies. Life is might. At last, Alpine Lace Free and Lean, fat-free and low-cholesterol singles made with real cheese. Fat-free, like me, beautiful. New Free and Lean. Free shape America with Alpine Lace. The Pirates of Dark Water now set sail with pirates in search of treasure. Join Ren and his courageous crew as they battle Blob and his scabby swags in the swashbuckling adventure, The Pirates of Dark Water. So separately. Jackson's Moonwalker video game, only on the Genesis system by Sega. Elapsed orbital duration, 78 hours, 14 minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Subject vital signs, blood pressure normal, heart rate, respiration good, brainwave pattern A-OK. -okay. It's feeding time. <laughs> Activate automatic food paste dispensal unit. Roger, FBDU is a go. Affirmative, we are blowing paste. <laughs> He's eating it, we have paste down. <laughs> Roger, we are approaching Cosmic Ray Storm. Initiate emergency evasive. Whoops, he spilled my coffee. Hey, uh, get some paper towels. Uh, I mean, uh, deploy absorption panels. Roger, on the padding, I, I think we're seeing some progress. Oh, yeah, that's coming out. Thank you, Houston. Looks like we're out of the woods on that coffee stain. <clears throat> uh, Houston, uh, how's that monkey doing up there? Oh, man! Uh, Houston, was that you? Central tracking, we didn't copy that. Copy this, you jerks! Get me down out of here! Uh, Houston, that was the monkey. Roger, Central tracking. We have talking monkey and brainwaves in the cage. Super genius. Uh-oh. You clowns! What are you guys shooting monkeys into space for? It's been done to death! Well, uh, Yank, we uh, just wanted to see what, what monkeys were like in space. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll save you time. I'll tell you what monkeys are like in space. Very angry! And we're awful sorry, little buddy, but that ray storm blew out our remote guidance system. We can't get you down without it. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll get myself down, you dinks. But I'll see you in court! Good morning, Arthur. Who are you? What are you doing in my apartment? 
If you guys are selling insurance, we don't want any. No, Tick. We're with the government. Well, no thanks. We've got all the government we need. We're secret government agents. We're here on official business. Pack a small bag. Your flight leaves in three hours. Uh, okay. What? This is Yank. Until 0800 hours this morning, he was a normal monkey in space. Due to massive cosmic ray exposure, he now possesses the highest IQ on the planet. We want him to be the new head of our space program. He's that good, but here's the problem. Slideshow. Boring. Losing consciousness. The gang's capsule is about to splash down here, near the small island nation of Pokopanesia. This is Pineapple Pokopo, international troublemaker and all-around ugly customer. He rules Pokopanesia with an iron fist. We feel certain he's going to make a grab for our monkey. Tick! Mm -hmm. Grab, grab the monkey. Got it. Our government can't enter Pokopo's territorial waters without risking an international incident. That's where you come in, gentlemen. But why us? You were recommended by one of the country's most patriotic heroes. Hi, boys. American, American maid? maid? She'll be the third member of your mission team. Here, you get two-way wrist radios and everything. Oh, smooth! Where is everybody? Where's my boat? That's it! You're in a lot of trouble, Houston! This, this is abandonment! This is mental anguish! Oh, 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 great! Great! <laughs> Don't think this isn't going to appear in my deposition! Little monkey, welcome to Pineapple Pokopo's island domain. You, Yank, will be our guest for the next... Uh, I'm sorry, what is a monkey's average lifespan? 20 to 40 years, what's it to you? Our guest for the next 20 to 40 years. What? Where's your phone? You will become Pokoponesia's first chief military advisor. You know, I've had my eye on Hawaii for quite some time, and that's where you come in. You will build me some kind of oh, fantastic genius technology machine that will allow me to enslave Hawaii and rule it with an iron fist. Or maybe something with neutrons. What do you think? Hmm. Come here. No, no, come here. Back off, fruit face! Ah, oh, yes, I expected you might respond this way, so I've prepared a little speech. <clears throat> I am not a smart man. I am not an honest man. I am not a clean man. I am not a rational man, but I am a very big man. You are a very smart monkey, but you are a very, very small monkey. Big man, small monkey. Get it? Got it. Arthur, come in. Repeat, come in, Arth I mean, Arnie. Over. Tick, cut it out. Uh, Arthur, you're gonna blow my cover. My code name is Nick. I don't know you. Well, if you're going to be that way about it. Tick. Nick. Nick, we're not supposed to know each other. We're supposed to be three separate tourists enjoying a carefree island holiday. But what about our secret mission? Yes, that's the whole point. It's a secret, so quit talking about it. And if you don't stop spinning into your wrist radio, I swear I'll bust it over your head. Excuse me, I don't know either of you gentlemen, but I can't help but noticing that you're screwing everything up. Uh-uh. Would anyone care for some complimentary tap water? Oh, great, great. And could I have a fresh pillow? This one's a little flat. Oh, and could I have another one of those salty peanuts? Oh, and my lips are a little dry. Could I have some balm? This is your captain speaking. I've turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Please make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened and that your seats are in an upright position. May I remind you that in the likely event of a water landing, the seat cushions beneath you are the property of pineapple air and may not be removed from the cabin. <clears throat> And thank you for choosing Pineapple Air. Welcome to the Royal Pineapple Hotel. Name? Janine. Very good. And the last name? Oh, 
Last name, uh, Smith. Hey, no one told me we had to think up last names. Over. And you, sir? Uh, uh, Arnie, uh, 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 Jones. Very good. Sir? Oh, uh, Nick. Uh, some Nick Soap Dish. Nick Soap Dish. Uh-huh. Nick Soap Dish. Uh, yes, it's uh, French. That's funny. It sounds more made up to me. <laughs> well, time to hit the surf. I can't believe it! Tourists have finally come to Pocahontasia. Oh, my ads in those travel magazines are really starting to pay off. Oh, and pretty too. Whoa, hey! Whoa, 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 down, boy! Whoa, 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 whoa. How's the water, Mr. Soap Dish? Oh, you know, it's a little sharky, but it's okay once you get used to it. Ho, 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 ho. At last, Boca Panicia is becoming the new tourist hotspot. Armpit of the Pacific, indeed. But, General Pocopo, something tells me those tourists are secret agents from America. Nonsense. They're just plain folks out for a good time. It's our job to give it to them. We just have to find out what they want. I think they want the monkey. And I think you are not listening to me. What we need here is a little market research. Now, you get back to the hotel and invite that pretty one up here. We'll have a little dinner and find out what she's looking for in an island paradise. Oh, a little monkey. How's that fantastic genius technology machine coming? I'm just itching to conquer Hawaii. Oh, yeah. We'll have that island chain on its knees in no time. Good, good. <laughs> Come in. Nick. Arnie. All right. This is Secret Agent Nick over. Listen, we've got to put together a plan. What do we know so far? Well, Pocopo stays in a fortified palace just off the north shore of the island. Yes, and it's surrounded by deadly riptides and shark-infested waters. Nick, what did you get? Well, I found some very pretty shells, and I got this lovely lake. Watch it. Someone's coming. Janine Smith. His Excellency General Pocopo cordially invites you to his palace for dinner, followed by a one-woman focus group on tourism in Pocopanesia. It's free. Great. I'll be there. What a break. You boys work your way out to the palace somehow. I'll call when I find Yank. How is my genius machine coming along, little monkey? It'll be ready by tonight. Tonight? Really? Excellent. But tell me, how does it work? Well, you just aim it at Hawaii and pull the trigger. Ah, good work. And after we've secured Honolulu, we'll reload and conquer Wyoming. Yeah. You know, Poke, as your chief prisoner and military advisor, I feel I should inform you that your logic is flawed. You see, you're succumbing to the fallacy of the unbounded middle. Wow. Really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But what is this unbounded middle you speak of, oh, genius monkey mine? It's, well, you know, uh, on the ends it's, uh, and then it's creamy, but uh, I used to know, but somehow I, I, I can't remember. Come in, Secret Agent Arnie. This is Secret Agent Nick. Over. Yeah, yeah, this is Arnie. Where are you, Nick? I'm in position and prepared to embark. Are you in position and prepared to embark? Tick, I mean, Nick, would you give me a few minutes? It's a jungle out here. That's a big 10-4. Agent Nick, out. Ow! Oh. Well, Miss Smith, my general philosophy is this. Whether you're oppressing a people or running a resort, you go with your strengths. In America, you've got your Grand Canyon, your Mount Rushmore. In France, you've got your Eiffel Tower. And what exactly are Polka Panisha's strengths, General? Well, we got two things, basically. We got pineapples, and we got sharks. Go with the pineapples. Yank's journal, last entry. 
Oh, woe to the whip that withers and the brief, bright candle of my mind. Earlier, when I was talking to that big eight polka poo, I could feel it beginning to happen. Based on my calculations, the effects of the cosmic ray storm on my brain will wear off in only a few short hours. In, in, in other words, I'm going to be real dumb real soon. Ernie, Ernie, come in. Ar oh, come on, Arthur, come in. I won't spit in the radio anymore, I promise. I think this sightseer has seen enough sights for today. <laughs> enough for a lifetime. <laughs> Arthur, do you read me? Are you okay? Help! I told you I'm a tourist! Help! I'm gonna tell my travel agent about this. Yeah, right, Mr. Tourist. The only thing you're gonna be saying is, ow, ow, there's a shark biting my leg. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, you jerks, let that tourist go. What? No! <laughs> Contact! Arthur! Let him go! How could you say let him go? Well, I didn't mean it in that sense. Oh, forget it. Listen, we've got to get out to the fortress before those henchmen can warm Pocopo. All right, then. Let's hang ten for justice! So, Janine, uh, may I call you Janine? If I were to enslave the population of, say, Hawaii and rule it with an iron fist, uh, would that be the kind of place you might enjoy vacationing? <clears throat> You've got a little, uh, a little pineapple on your face. <laughs> Janine, I'd like you to meet Yank, my pet monkey and chief military advisor. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, he's actually very smart. <laughs> Say something smart, Yank. Oh, oh, please excuse me, Janine. Yank, I'm not really Janine Smith. I'm American made. I'm a superhero. I've been sent to get you out of here. I think I should tell you, I I'm not the genius monkey I used to be. <laughs> That's not the point. My job is to get you back to America. They want you to head the space program. Well, it's their money. <laughs> Hello? Oh, why, no, it's going wonderfully. Uh, why should... What? I'm telling you, we just had a fight with the other two in the jungle. They're secret agents, and they're heading your way. Then they all must be secret agents. Oh, this is so sad. Now I have to feed Janine to the sharks, and we've still never had a tourist. <laughs> Well, well, Janine Smith, where were we? Ah, yes, Pocahontas' strong points. I trust you've enjoyed our delicious pineapples. Uh oh. Now I think it's time for you to sample our sharks. Well, Miss Smith, you played a little joke on me. Now I have a little joke for you. You'll never get away with this, Pocopo. How can you tell if a shark likes you? <laughs> he takes another bite. <laughs> a little Pocopanesian humor. <laughs> ah, your friends must be arriving. But I think we have enough sharks to go around. <laughs> You let me go! Get back, you! Ah. Yank! Throw me that mooring line so I can... Yank! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fading fast! Listen! Ah, ah. 
machine I built for Poker Boats. It's not a weapon. Yank, the mooring line. <laughs> it's an escape pod. I, I, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. Great. <laughs> That was pretty good. You're not kidding. Now put me down. Come on! Yank built us an escape pod. Ooh, good monkey. This is it. And do you, Yank, swear to fulfill your duties and obligations as director of the National Space Program? <laughs> oh, let's put that down as a yes. Someone get the director a banana! You know, gang, <laughs> when you're a superhero, you never know where the day will take you. You may find yourself halfway around the world in the shark-infested waters of true-to-life living. Or you may find yourself going down to the store for a lozenge. You can't know, can you? No! You gotta ride that wave. You gotta suck that lozenge. Cause if you don't, who will? Where do you get this stuff? <laughs> Where indeed? How can I ever forget one of my special customers, little Michael? Every week he'd come in, and every time he'd say, his eyes shining. Store reason, please, Mrs. Lang. One of those reasons I had to give him immediately. The others I put in a bag for him. Now there is Stork Chocolate Reason, a long-lasting chewy chocolate caramel covered with rich chocolate, just right for Michael. Stork Chocolate Reason, please, Mrs. Lang. <laughs> and Michael still eats the first one immediately. Stork Chocolate Reason, the everlasting chocolate chew. Let's check it out. Introducing the newest WWF wrestling buddies, Big Boss Man and Jake the Snake Roberts. Clunk em, plunk em. Wrestling buddies want to be your buddy. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Nothing, uh, officer. Body slam! <laughs> hey, who's the wise guy? Big Boss Man! Murphy. What's going uh, on? Nothing, Sarge. <laughs> Big Boss Man and Jake the Snake Roberts, the newest WWF wrestling buddies from Tonga, each sold separately. Respect, loyalty, wisdom, honor, courage, compassion, forgiveness, discipline. Respect, loyalty, wisdom, honor, courage, compassion, forgiveness, discipline. Respect, loyalty, wisdom, honor, courage, compassion, forgiveness, discipline. Can you hear what he's saying? Sounds to me like he's reciting the eight points of the dragon star. Sounds to me like he's possessed. No, he's obsessed. Beating Hakeem. I think you're right. Good luck. Respect, loyalty, wisdom, honor, courage, compassion. You're welcome to someone. Do you have any advice? Just three words. Don't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Any advice? Just be the machine. Should be enough. Good luck. From Universal Studios, Florida, it's WMAC Masters. They're the world's greatest martial artists competing for the ultimate prize. Olympus. The machine. Superstar. Red Dragon, Great Wolf, Tiger Claw, Panther, Tsunami.
Star Wars. Turbo. Their quest, reach full dragon belt, then go for the dragon star itself. The World Martial Arts Council presents WMAC Masters. Hi everyone, Shannon Lee here at the WMAC Arena. Today, the Dragon Star is up for grabs. Reigning champion Ho Sung Pak defends his title against arch rival Hakeem the Machine Alston. As with each Dragon Star Championship, the arena will be filled with recruits from the WMAC Academy dressed in their full warrior outfits. And while they file into their seats, let's take a look at yesterday's action, a women's battle dome match between Princess Murmur Chen and baby doll Bridget Riley. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Bridget Riley, Dragon Belt Status 2 Belt 2, Key Symbol, Baby Doll, Martial Arts Discipline, Kick Boxing. on Princess Murmur Chen in a women's battle dome matchup, and the dome's already on its way down. Plus, superstar Ho Sung Pak defends the Dragon Star itself against Hakeem the Machine Alston. It's all coming up next on WMAC Masters. This match features the smooth movements and grace of Wushu against the power and speed of kickboxing. Battle Dome Finals Mur Mur Chan, Princess, Bridget Riley, Baby Doll. In this two minute match, the athletes must try to force their opponent into the frame of the cage. The council keeps score, and when time runs out, whoever's in the lead wins. <laughs> Ninjas penetrate the dome. One zero. Two zero. when Princess fell back into the cage a second time. Bridget Riley takes the lead. Winner, 
Baby Doll. Baby Doll Bridget Riley comes from behind to pull out a 3-2 victory over Princess Murmur Chen. Let's take another look at how Baby Doll scored her points in this match. A powerful spin hook kick sent Murmur into the cage for Baby Doll's first score. And then Princess did the rest of the work, first kicking the dome, then falling into it, to give Baby Doll the lead and the match. By order of the World Martial Arts Council, today's winner, Bridget Riley, Baby Doll, representing kickboxing, shall receive the key symbol of her opponent, Mur Mur Chen, Princess, representing Wu Shu. Here now, the ceremony of the Dragon Belt. Baby Doll's working on her second degree Dragon Belt since losing the Dragon Star Championship to Lady Lightning not too long ago. It was the same day that Ho Sung Pak claimed the Dragon Star in his match against Olympus. Now we're moments away from Superstar's first defense of his title against Hakeem the Machine Alston. These two athletes have met just once before, and it was in the Battle Dome. Both athletes consider each other their toughest competition, and this Battle Dome proved them correct. The council did not order ninjas into the cage, so the entire match was strictly a one-on-one. -on -one. It was a grueling contest that saw the lead change hands several times. Finally, Superstar pulled out the victory with just seconds remaining. He told me after the match that of all the key symbols on his dragon belt, he was proudest of having the machines. Ninjas, arise. Turn. Bow. Await the masters. Superstar Ho Sung Pak will defend his title as the world's greatest martial artist against Hakeem the Machine Alston. Get set for the Dragon Star Championship next. Just about to. You still no luck finding Ho Young? Man, I've searched high and low. It's weird he's not here to see his own brother defend the Dragon Star. Yeah. Maybe they had an argument. Maybe they're not speaking to each other. Probably. Or maybe Ho Young doesn't want to see his baby brother lose. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Ho Sung Hak. Key symbol, superstar. Status, Dragon Star Champion on this day by mandate of the World Martial Arts Council. Superstar must once again prove himself worthy of the Dragon Star. That brings back memories, huh? Yeah. I miss it as much as you do. Yeah. I'll be up there sooner than you think. Sooner than sooner than you think than you think. that Superstar will have against the machine today, it's experience. The experience of having already competed on the rotating Dragon Star platform once before. Her Perez, Olympus, was the reigning Dragon Star champion when Ho Sung Pak reached full Dragon Belt status. And as if facing the 1992 Olympic gold medalist wasn't tough enough, 
Superstar ran into some real trouble early on with some of the ninjas in the competition. At times, both he and Olympus came close to falling from the platform at the hands and feet of the ninjas. I guess Superstar decided if you can't beat him, join him. And then beat him. He and Olympus went into the stands to take some of the wind out of the ninjas from the WMAC Academy. When they were finally rid of all the ninjas, Superstar came up with a simple strategy for beating Olympus. Duck. Can Superstar defend his title against Hakeem Alston? The machine is scheduled to enter the WMAC arena in just a moment. Man, I wouldn't want to be whole sung today. Hakeem, man, it's time to go. Hey, Hakeem, Hakeem. Filmed at Universal Studios Florida, where you can ride the movies. He's traveled this path dozens of times before. Hakeem the Machine Alston is now on his way into the WMAC arena. But today is different. Today, he's competing for the Dragon Star, and the road to full Dragon Belt hasn't been easy. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Hakeem Olsen, key symbol, the machine, Dragon Bell status, full. I should have done that to Turbo. Yeah. Hey, where is Turbo? I don't know. Probably with uh, Paul Young and Bam. None of them are here to see this. What could be more important than a Dragon Star match? That's a good question.
have never seen Hakeem Alston more pumped for any competition in his life. This arena is about to explode with excitement for the match of the year, the match of the century. Dragon Star Championship, Ho Sung Pak, Superstar, Hakeem Alston, The Machine. The champion will now place the Dragon Star within the Tri-Chamber Cybercell. Once in place, the entire platform will begin to rotate and the Dragon Star will drop out of sight. The Dragon Star will not rise out of the Cybercell until we have a winner. And the winner is the athlete left standing alone atop the rotating platform. Dragon Star match, begin! To win, one of these athletes must force his opponent off the rotating platform and into the pit below. However, if an athlete leaves the rotating platform but does not fall completely off, that's considered a violation, and the council orders a ninja to join the battle to increase the level of difficulty. In order to win, you must be the only one atop the platform. Your opponent and all ninjas must be forced off. <laughs> Violation. Ninja 1. Engage. Violation. Ninja 2. Engage. Ninja 3, engage! have been forced off the platform at the same time by a ninja. Who is that master ninja? Filmed at Universal Studios Florida, where you can ride the movies.
see where the eagle has perched, Pocahontas. That's a good omen for our messengers. The Council of Chiefs has decided to send ambassadors to all the tribes that you are going to visit, so that your journey will be as easy as possible. I'm very grateful for everything you're doing for me. It is the Great Spirit whom you should thank. Come, you must be on your way. Hey, now calm down. You'll be a brave warrior one day. Your parents will be proud of you. <laughs> you must prepare well for your journey, my child. Pocahontas, Siwa and Miak are drawing up a map. They're planning the best route for us to take. We start from here. Heading west past the Great Lakes, we'll turn north and keep going until we reach the ice fields. Then make our way south through the mountains before the August moon. All that way before the August moon? Yes. The tribes in the vast northern territories live far apart and gather only in the month of August, following the migration of the wildlife. <laughs> it's going to be a long, difficult journey. The sooner we leave, the better. those little thieves you want us to die of hunger get out of there I'll hang you up by your tails <laughs> uh, don't be afraid little chipmunks oh you're leaving yes it's time for us to go you must waste no time if you want to achieve your aim you are right wandering spirit your advice is always to be treasured thank you Good luck. May the Great Spirit go with you, Mark. Thank you. May the Great Spirit watch over you, Pocahontas. Looks like there's a storm coming. Keep going. Oh, <gasps> look out! <gasps> oh. 
It's really deep. Oh. That storm exhausted me. Yes, I could sleep for a week. Like a baby? Yes. <laughs> You know, I can hardly believe what happened at the tree. <laughs> Pocahontas, uh... Where do your animals get their mysterious powers from? She doesn't know, Mac. The Great Spirit gave us our powers so we could protect you. Why are you so astonished? According to legends, animals have always lived and spoken with people, isn't that right? Yes, the plants do have the power of speech. Yes, yes. But the only reason I can speak to you in this form is because Mark belongs to my clan. Only the Eagle has the power to take on whatever form he wishes. But we all transform into giants! Oh. Or into tiny ants. Oh, Great Spirit! We are infinitely grateful for the help and protection you see fit to give us. You have what you deserve. The, the buffalo's become a woman! It is an honor for me to watch over you and protect you. Now we know we have such powerful forces on our side, we're a match for anybody. But we're not on the warpath, Hoppy Ho. Our mission is to preach peace. It is indeed. We must never forget that. Farewell. We thank the great Huron people. Wait! Huh? I wish you could come with us in the canoes. Here, take my hand. Thank you.
Ah. You must be hungry, huh? Mark. Have some, it's good. Thank you, Pogahannis. But I can't restore my strength with vegetables. Oh. These lousy mosquitoes sucking the blood of a warrior too weak to fight them off. Then it's just as well we have Miak and Siva to protect us. Everyone has the right to eat what he likes. You should go hunting. Hmm? <laughs> Don't take me seriously. But you still have to eat. Mm -hmm. All this brings to mind a story our elders used to tell. What story? It's a very instructive story. If you're interested, I can tell it to you. If it's instructive, of course you must. Even the animals want to hear it. <sighs> Are you listening, Mock? I'm sure that when you've heard this story, your attitude towards hunting will change. A long, long time ago, not far from here, there lived a young warrior named True Feather. True Feather, you must only kill animals you need for your survival. True Feather was the best hunter in the tribe, but he obeyed the order of his guardian angel. And when he got back to the village with only one rabbit, everyone made fun of him. One of the chiefs, a cruel man, told him he should ignore his guardian angel if it happened again and not spare his arrows. I'm watching you, True Feather. <gasps> it's time to go hunting again. They say this winter will be very cold with a lot of snow. Then we'll have to lay in lots of supplies. Yes, you must kill lots of animals. But my guardian angel told me not to. Ah, the chief is right. Yes. If we don't have food when everything's snowed in, we'll die of starvation. I don't want to be your guardian angel any longer. It's over. You're going to hell. Uh, 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 uh. You understand? I disown you. Take him away and drop him directly into hell's fire. Uh, have a guardian angel. I'm better off dead. The unhappy man died soon after, and ever since then, this lake has been known as the Lake of the Dead Spirits. That's a nice story. Huh? The young warrior told the story well. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is True Feather. <laughs> 
Greetings. I'm happy to meet you at last, Pocahontas. I belong to the Cree people. We heard you were coming this way. I've been given orders to welcome you and your escort and bring you in peace to our village. I thank the Cree people. We have come here to visit all the tribes that live around Lake Winnipeg. I'm Hoppy Ho. I thank you Welcome. too. Welcome. We traveled so fast we didn't have time to eat. Would you like to share some deer meat? It's good. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> Try it. What? You don't like it? Uh, yes, I love it. I, I, uh, uh, no, actually, I, uh, <laughs> well, it's there to be eaten. Help yourselves. They say the Cree make smoked meats better than anybody else. Uh, well, yeah, I, um... <laughs> How did you track us down? It wasn't that difficult. Once we found your tracks, it was child's play to follow them. At first, we thought you were a group of pale faces. There were so many tracks. We have nothing to hide. We travel on a mission of peace. I know that, but it doesn't mean you have no enemies. Be warned. Oh. This region is infested with lawless warrior bands who attack anyone they come across. You paint a pretty dark picture, True Feather, but we also are warriors. If anyone attacks us, we'll make them regret it. That's for you sure. You can count on it. We have nothing to fear. Everyone knows we're on a mission of peace. That's true. We must go now. The whole village is waiting to meet you. Precious animals for us. Give us meat, oil, skins to wear and to make our tents with. They are the great spirits gift to our tribe. Ah, here we are. This is our village. You have a very large village. There are so Look. many... There's more than one tribe waiting for you. On the right, there are the Montagnier. Next to them, the Nazcapi, and then the Ojibwa in their ceremonial costumes. Welcome, the Great Spirit has sent you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. a new destiny for mankind. Ah! <laughs> 
in one day. That is the will of the Great Spirit. As for us, it is our duty to unite in one tribe and to live with one heart and to worship the Great Creator on our lands all in the same language. I was wondering if I could eat that. Uh, no, sir. That's an island. It looks like a cookie. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What is this crap here, huh? I thought I told you guys to start growing pizza here. Uh, excuse me, sir. We can't grow pizza. It's impossible. Please execute him. Uh, do you see those two hills? Uh, yeah, I see them. That one over there, can I eat it? Or is it the one to the left? Take a look, sir. What's that? We got a surprise for you. <gasps> oh my god. It's beautiful. Hello, 우리들의 새로운 이야기를 들어주십시오. 지금부터 고통산 축전 해방기 지어리를 시작하겠습니다. 
좋구만요. 예. 여러 동산에 많은 동무들이 참가하는 축전인데 저쯤이야 돼야지요. 사람이 그 대장 동무, 쪽제비 놈들이 저걸 보면 기분이 어떨까요? 한 방망이 얻어맞은 것처럼 머리가 핑핑 돌 겁니다. 아마 까무로 칠지도 모르죠. <웃음> 쪽집이 대장놈한테서 축전에 참가시켜달라는 제기가 들어왔습니다. 으흠. 정말 뚝박인데요? 그러기나 말이요. 안에 들어가 얘기해봅시다. 예. 저기가 쪽집이 놈들의 서굴이지요? 예. 외진 섬으로 쫓겨가 오랫동안 잠잠하던 놈들이 왜 갑자기 축전 참가를 제기할까요? 혹시 진심으로 아닙니다. 우리는 지난 날의 가슴 아픈 일들을 언제나 잊지 말아야 합니다. 그럼 쪽대비 대장놈의 경호대장을 하는 정찰병 금세기에게 임무를 주는 것이 어떻습니까? 예, 지혜있고 용감한 금세기는 꼭 해낼 겁니다. 빨리 우전을 날립시다. 예. 박물보다 쪽대비 대장놈이 꽃동산 축전에 참가하려 하고 있다. 급히 놈들의 진짜 속심을 알아낼 것. 성과를 바란다. 은하수 대장놈의 속심을 어떻게 해야 알아낼 수 있을까? 대장놈을 찔러볼까? 아니... 그럼 특공 대장... 이것도 아니다. 어쨌든 대장놈부터 만나보자. 대장 각하! 경호대장! 아니... 그 놈이... 어디 갔을까? 치료 받쳐서 내 말이 들리는가? 예! 대장 각하가 보이지 않는다! 대장 각하는 자모구에게 서서라와! 지금 공원에서 쉬고 있습니다! 알겠다! 버터를 떡바로 서라! 알았습니다! 사모구역이라면 특검대 구역이 아닌가? 왜 여전 그것으로 자주 가는 걸까? 카카! 까맛! 경호대장, 그 불쌍한 새를 집어오라고. 허이도 없이 이렇게 혼자 있는 건 위험합니다, 카카. 알겠다. 살려줘서 정말 고마워요. 어냐. 경호대장, 우리도 곧 동산 축전에 참가해볼까 하는데 어때? 아마 깜짝 놀랄 겁니다. <웃음> 하긴 그래. 그들은 아직도 나를 옛날처럼 생각하면서 믿으려 하지 않으니까. 기자들까지도 나를 헐뜯고 있거든. 남을 해치기 좋아한다느니 악독한 놈이라느니 <웃음> 참 옳지 기자들을 이용해보자 카카 차라리 그 기자들을 초청하여 카카의 마음을 세상에 널리 알리는 것이 어떻습니까 <웃음> 그것들이 무슨 맥을 주겠다고 아, 그렇지 않습니다 카카 저 에? 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 비슷해 한번 만나봐 예 그럼 제가 불러드리겠습니다. 좋아. 기자들의 비행기를 특검대 쪽으로 돌아오게 해야지. 필요합니다. 같이 갑시다. 아이고. 떨어지다는데도 부득부득 떨어지다니. 뭔 섭섭한 말이야. 우리 낡은 비행기라도 타고 갑시다. 아니, 그... 자, 자, 어서 오르세요. 이젠 기자회견에 참가하게 됐군요. 그런데 그 사납기로 소문난 쪽제비들이 꽃동산 축전에 참가한다는 건 무슨 소리일까요? 어, 자, 어, 믿어지지 않지요? 어쨌든 이건 정말 놀라운 일입니다. 쪽제비 대장놈이 혹시 우리 속여서 제 몸값을 올리자는 게 아닌지... 그러게! 정신을 바짝 차리고 들이대야 해요. 아! 뜻공대다! 저게 다람이들이 아니에요? 그게 어디 다람이? 참 이상한데? 좀 자세히 봅시다. 어쩌죠? 자, 빨리 갑시다, 빨리! 
해장 작가가 나옵니다. 이제 나오는 거 많이 나옵니다. 여러분, 대단히 반갑습니다. 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 집단의 장관은 각하의 의도는 무엇입니까? 그래, 어디 가니까? 아, 가만, 가만. 하나씩. 하나씩, 예. 각하! 숙전에 참가하는 기회를 이용하여 꽃동사를 해치려는 게 아닌가 생각되는데 어떻습니까? 예, 그건 바로 이 불쌍한 주인공이 말해줄 것입니다. 복불리한데 다 죽게 된날 대장님이 정말 고마운 분입니다. 아, 나이 들면 눈물이 헤퍼진다더니 이 새처럼 불쌍한 것들을 보면 가슴이 아프고 눈물... 그러니까 이번 축전 참가 목적도 진정 화목을 원하기 때문이겠죠? 예, 예. 가만! 그런데 이리 오면서 보니까 왜 많은 특공대원들이 훈련을 하고 있는가요? 특공대? 아, 아, 그건 자체 방위를 위한 거요. 난 이젠 싸움이란 말만 들어도 지긋지긋하 그런데 그 속에 다람이로 가장한 특공대원들이 있던데 이상하지 않습니까? 그것도 자체 방위를 위한 것인가요? 아, 그게 사실이라면 어째서 다람이로 가장시켰는가요? 어, 청산을 노린 게 아닙니까? 그 대상과 가장이 벙어리가 됐습니까? 그것도 자체 방위를 위한 것인가요? 확실히 특공대의 문제가 있다. 꼭내 네, 가보자. 아, 기자 선생들 그만 배가 고프실 텐데 어서 식당으로. 아이, 하나만 더 물어봅시다. 저 명백히 더 물어봅시다. 가만! 시간 됐습니다. 뻥텅구리 같은 특공대장. 돼지망신은 꼬리가 다 시킨다더니 그 자식 때문에 이게 무슨 꼬지야, 이 치야기를. 그... 가카, 특공대의 비밀이 새어나가고 있는 것 같습니다. 비밀? 네. 그럼 우리 작전이... 저... 빨리 특공대 형편을 알아보고 대책을 세워야 할것 같습니다. 좋다. 그럼 내가 특공대 가서 단단히 혼사를 내주라. 알겠습니다. 각하! 대장님. 아, 경호 대장이 어떻게? 대장님이 보내서 왔습니다. 아, 대장님이 특사도 몰라보고. 자, 어서 안으라. 예. 마침 잘 왔어. 우리 애들이 국수훈련을 하려던 참. 차렷! 국공대 대장님! 훈련하기 위하여 전해왔습니다! 좋아. 기자들의 말이 옳았구나. 특공대원들을 모두 다람이로 가장시킨 걸 봐서 우리 꽃동산을 노리고 있는 것이 분명하다. 오늘 훈련에서 너희들이 섬취를 마지막으로 검열하겠다. 밑! 실제로 넘어가야 하지 않습니까? 특검 대장님! 이제 우리 정찰이 돌아오면 뭐 작전을 시작하게 될 것이요. 잘하는데 큰 문제가 걸렸습니다. 꼬리는 다람이, 얼굴은 생쥐. 이런 모양으로 사방 돌아치니 특공대 비밀이 기자들한테까지 새 나가고 있단 말입니다. 대장님이 공연이 나를 여기로 보낸 줄 압니까? 정 대장님, 정신을 차려야겠습니다. 정신을. 네놈이 감히 날 죽으니? 아, 이건 다 대장 가까이 특수 작전을 위한 건데 뭘 그다지나? 특공대 장님, 꽃동산에 정찰나 갔던 불지코 인물을 생각하더라. 수고했다. 
야! 대장님한테 불지 육호가 도착했다고 빨리 알려라! 이건 당장 작전 토의를 시작한다는 거다. 특수 작전? 그렇지. 저 세강경에 더 정장질을 하자. 저게 심한 놈을 어떻게 한다? 그런데 저 안경을 어떻게 벗긴다? 아, 특공대원들의 영맹한 모습을 보니 나도 근질거리는 걸? 여기에 나하고 교류해볼 만한 대상이 없겠는가? 어? 흠, 마침 잘 됐다. 오늘 내 손에 혼 썰러봐라. 경호대장의 프로레싱 솜씨가 이만저만이 아니라던데. 아, 글쎄, 특공대장이라면 한번 맞서볼 만한데. 그래? 야, 프로레싱 인구! 야! 나가고 있다는 걸 알고 있는가? 예. 그래서 경호대장한테 되게 의도 맞았습니다. 이제 작전 계획을 가지고 사무별장으로 오라. 알겠습니다. 기회를 놓쳐서는 안 된다. 특공대장 솜씨가 그게 다요? 뭐, 응? 뭐라고? 야, 계속 하자! 예! 야! 으! 으! 개판이다. 후에 다시 하자. 기회를 마련해 보죠. 두고 보자. 그럼 안녕히. 작전 계획을 말해보라. 예. 축전이 시작되면 바람 위로 가장한 특공대원들이 여기로 뚫고 들어가 소동을 일으킬 겁니다. 그 다음은 곧 동산이 손님들을 총에 넣고 못된 짓을 한다. 이렇게 들었다 공격을 하려고 합니다. 저 특공대원들이 왜 갑자기 나타났을까? 혹시 수색대 장남이? 경호대장님! 이리로 나오십시오! 우리 대장님 우리 기가 그냥 갈줄 알았어? 어서 나와서 우리 아가 한번 결혼합시다! 결혼합시다! 어서 나와라래요! 아아아아아! 결혼합시다! 너희들의 영맹이 마음에 든다! 내 너희들을 표창하도록 대장님한테 잘 말해주지! 야아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아
내 놈들이 우리 꽃동 산 축전을 파탄시켜버려고? 어림없다. 행복이 평산이 꽃이 핀다고 우리 몸 늦추려 불구름 또다시 일렬 때면 이한몸 막아난 소리 대보름 소벌기 풀려갔어도 고향이 카카 원숭이 다녀오시오 오냐 카카 아 방울꼬다 놈들의 음모를 제때 알아내어 임무를 훌륭히 수행한 동물을 축하한다 은하수 경호대장입니다 경호대장 나 대장이다 빨리 내 방으로 오라 응? 대장이야? 방금 또 맞이 않았는가? 들었는가 경호대장 예 알았습니다 방금 떠난 놈은 누구고 방에서 찾는 놈은 누구가 아, 경호대장. 카카, <웃음> 어? 경호대장 방금 전에 비행기를 타고 떠나는 걸 봤는데. 꽃동산으로 <웃음> 떠난 건 나의 그림자다. 아니, 내가 그림자일 수도 있고 난 꽃동산하고 계산할 게 너무도 많거든. <웃음> 어? 그렇다면 새로운 음모? 아, 내가 너무 서둘러 무전을 날렸단 말인가. 이것이 나냐. 돌이킬 수 없는 위험을 주는 것이라면 싸움은 이제부터 시작이다. <웃음> <웃음> 